Alright. Magadang hapon, STO Masbati Province teachers. Kumusta po? Technology alone will not improve education, but it can be a powerful part of the solution. Welcome to Complete Workthrough of Google Workspace for Education Productivity Tools in Series and Online Professional Development for Mass Pateño Teachers. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
All right, bumalik na po tayo. Um, our apology po kasi po nag-brown out at saka matagal po nakakonect po yung internet po natin. Pasensya pasensya na po and thank you very much for waiting for this online training for us um, para po sa ating mga mas batenyo teachers and of course to our school leaders, our PSDs, our school heads. But before that, um, good afternoon again and my respect to our school's division superintendent, Ma'am Nene Marioles, to our two ASDs, Sir Boy and Sir Joel. Our two chiefs po from SGOD, Sir Mark Rupa, and from CID, Ma'am Dorothy Daniel, and to all the APCs, the program supervisors, our public school district supervisors. Hi there po, maraming salamat sa pag, ano po, ng link po natin. Uh, without so much ado, um, let us have first the Philippine National Anthem to be played via audio, visual. Ay ang magiging pala alam ng puso sa dibdib mo'y buhay. Lupang hinirang, tuyan ka ng pag-ibig, sa manlulupi, di ka pa sisigil, sa dagat at bundok, sa simoy at sa langit mong bukaw, may nilagang tula at awit sa paglayang minamahal. Ang isap ng mataw at huwi tagumpay na nagbinigning Ang bituin na taraw na kailan pa may limang dinigin Luma ng araw na wal at ipagsinta Buhay langit sa piling mo Ang iligaya na pag may magapi Ang namatay ng dahil sa'yo Ama naming sumasa langit, Panginoong may lalang sa langit at lupa, aming ipinagbubunni ang iyong kadakilaan. Kami ay nagpapasalamat sa panibagong araw na ipinagkaloob mo sa amin. Maraming salamat sa iyong walang humpay na pagmamahal. Ikinalulugod namin ang iyong pag-akay sa amin bilang isang bansa sa krisis na aming nararanasan. Kami ay lumalapit sa iyong kadakila. Itinataas namin sa iyong pangalan ang mga namumuno sa aming kikawaran. Pagkaloob mo sa kanila ang katatagan para sa mga desisyong nakaatang sa kanilang mga balika. Gabayan mo ang kanilang mga hakbang sa pagsulong ng edukasyon sa bansa. Hinihiling namin na iyong ipadama ang pagdamay, pagkalinga at proteksyon sa aming mga guro, mag-aaral at mga magulang anuman ang kanilang pinagdadaanan. Patnubayan mo ang lahat ng mga guro sa pagpapatuloy ng kanilang paglilingkod sa bayan at bigyan ng proteksyon sa lahat ng panahon upang ang kanilang mga tukulin ay magampanan. At sa pagbubukas ng taong panuruan, dalawang libot dalawang po hanggang dalawang libot dalawang put isa, ipinagkakatiwala namin sa iyong mga kamay ang walang hanggang paggabay sa aming pagtahak tungo sa maliwanag na bukas. Naniniwala kami na aming malalampasan ang lahat ng pagsubok sa pamamagitan ng iyong kapangyarihan. Ito ang aming samo at dalangin sa pangalan ni Jesus na iyong pinakamamahal na anak at aming tagapagligtas. Amen. Oh, my feelings, well, it's hard for me with the 
Okay, narinig nyo naman po yung ating STO mas batihim at kung papakinggan po natin at namnamin po natin yung minsahe, ayun po, kaakibat po noon ang ating respons responsibility bilang teacher po na kailangan po natin equip yung mga sarili natin ng mga competencies po na kailangan po ng ating panahon. And that is, one of this is having this digital skills. That's why we're having this Google Workspace for Education for Mass Batenio Teachers, online professional development. Of course, with a very able resource speaker na, ano po natin, um, um, na maganda at marami po siyang maiambag po sa atin tungkol po sa Google Workspace. Right? Um... So, Sir Ruel, play muna po tayo ng, ano, ng quiz natin. Let's see po kung ang ating mga teachers of, bas, of mas bate ay may alam po sa Google Workspace. Ayan, may inihanda po sa atin ng ating ITO, Sir Ruel, para po sa ating gagawin na konti po. Ano, before the uh, very meat of our session this afternoon. Alright, as you can see po, meron pong tayong ipinakita po dyan na um, quiz, a sort of game, of course, that we can employ in our own class. Um, quiz po yan, nakikita nyo po ang code na nandyan. Paki, ano nyo po sa inyong mga browser, sa inyong cellphone po, um, hanapin po yung ano, yung tawag natin dito, yung quizzes, or i-share po ni Sir Ruel, po sa DepEd tayo po ang ating Link for that. And the code is 329055. Sir, well, pwede pong pakishare po sa kanila ng link po sa ating ano po, sa chat box po sa DepEd tayo mas bate. Keep pakiradi lang po, ano? Because later on, talaga pong yung mga expectation nyo, for this training na nabasa ko po sa ating ano, registration form with your responses, we're so very happy that you are um, interested to learn more about digital skills. At marami po talaga tayo matutunan this afternoon. At sa mga susunod po natin na series or session. Again, We are waiting for participants to join this short quiz online. Eh, nabasa naman po ninyo ang ating division memorandum po, ano? Na ang object, one of the objectives of this activity is for everybody to become digital skill teacher. And um, we are... Um, hoping that one of these days, 
some of our teachers or most of the teachers of Masbate will become a Google teacher, Google certified educator. At hindi lang naman po Google lang kaya po i-provide po ng SU Masbate province. Alam naman po natin that we have the Microsoft. But today, we will learn more about Google Workspace for Education. All right, meron na po tayong link na nakikita niyo po on the screen. We have HTTPS, don't worry, meron pong S po yan. Ibig sabihin, secure po yung ano natin, yung link po natin yan. So, HTTPS, colon, slash, dalawang slash po natin, quizzes.com slash join. So, kung naka-join na pa kayo, we have that code, 329055. So, we will wait for everybody to join this. Uh, if not everybody, at least po, ano, meron po mag-join po sa ating counting quiz. Okay, nag-aantay po kami. Wala pang naka-join, no? We are still waiting for participants to join. Kasi nakikita po namin yan on screen kung meron na pong nakapasok. May sumali lang po na isa. Okay na po yan. Siya na lang po talaga ang maglaro na mag-isa. Joke lang. Naintindihan naman po namin po, ano, na siyempre nasa mas bati po tayo, ano, hindi po masyadong malakas ang ating connection. So, we are waiting still for some participants to join. Alright, meron na pa ba? Ay, meron na si Ruel, okay. I think si Ruel, sige na po, sila na lang po talaga ang mag-join mag ng quiz po natin. So, ayan, may... Anyway, nakaset naman po yan na pwede po kong pumasok uh, na late po for this quiz. Shall we start now? So we have, oh yeah, may marami na po mapasok. Okay, sige. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Thousands of mas batenyo teachers and we have only, <laughs> how many? Ayan, we have 15 teachers, 17. All right, sige po. Pwede po tayo humabol. And magtatanong kayo, ano, bakit tayo nag online ano, learning? Oh, we have this kind of training. Of course, kailangan po natin yan because not, we have learners out there na meron po mga gadget and we could employ um, blended instruction or learning. We can give them this asynchronous learning, online learning with the asynchronous man po yan. Kaya po natin yan. Aside from, of course, the printed modular distance learning that we are offering to our learners. So kaya nga po meron pa tayong ganito. And aside from that, we know that some of the tasks and some of the reports are all in the digital space, cyber space, and we need a lot of competences for our works to be um, easy and for us to be efficient and effective in everything that we do. So there is a mass for us to have this kind of training. Ayan, dumadami na. So, sige na po. Okay na po siguro yan, Sir Ruel. Pwede namang humabol kasi po, di ba, ang iba dyan. Hindi naman natin yan na start. Okay, let's start now. Go. Four, three, two, one. Go. All right. Showing the screen is the leaderboard. All right. Sino ba yung ano? Yan, Kautaber. Sir James Kautaber, we have. Sino yung nauna? Ayan, pumapatas na. Ma'am Lynn Nasty. We have Ma'am Irene for Rebellia. Ma'am Ryan. All right, tumataas. Sir Malsanta. Yan nga po pala, ano? Meron po tayo nakapag-register na hindi po teachers. And we allow that. Hindi lang po, syempre, para sa mga teachers. Because we have the competences na pwede po natin matusuna, na magagamit po natin sa work. Ayan. Number one is Ryan or Ninya. At kung masyadong mabasa, pasensya na, non-reader. Ma'am Karen, um, di ko paano kung sinong Ma'am Karen to, ano? By, uh, mang, kilala kong Karen is Ma'am Karen Patricia as teacher. Yan, naglalaro ni Sir Ruel Cortez. 
tuwang-tuwa talaga siya sa ganitong klaseng app. We, uh, we are promoting, of course, gamification in class. This is not only for the elementary learners, then the adult learners. Ayan. Sinong nangunguna? Karen! Ang first ay confirmed po na mananalo po ay makakarusun po ng isang sako bigas. Isang sako lang po talaga. Joke lang. Bank paper. Ayan, marami kasi kami bank paper. Kung kayo po ang winners, just tell us your name and when you go here in Estomas Water Province, let's look for me or look for Sir Rubel for the first of best. Cash prize. Ayan, may malapit ng matapos ang pasunod natin. By the way, hindi lang po pieces ang meron po tayo na pwede sa ating mga learners to have a pamphlet. Ano po kayo may sana pinag-aaralan po yan. Of course, we have the kaput. Ayan. Sir Emmanuel Bilan Oh yan, ito dyan po yan sa mga Amerna Raya Okay, tignan po natin. We have first, first Ma'am Karen, second Ma'am Sir Ronald, and third Ma'am Nina. Okay, kindly comment po sa ating, ano, ayan, si Sir Layuro, ay, married person. Sorry po sa mga, ano po namin, na hindi po natin natapos po yung game para sa iba. Um, pwede po kayo maglaro ulit. Punta lang po kayo sa, ano na yan, sa site na yan, quizzes.com, and you could also um, uh, use that not only to your learners, of course, with your children or mga bata. So, napaka-interactive po niyan sa ating mga bata. Ayan. So, thank you very much po at congratulations po sa ating nanalo for a second, third. So, si Ma'am Karen, we have Sir Ronald, and third, si Ma'am Nina. So, ladies and friends, please be ready because up next is the message, of course, of our school's division superintendent, Ma'am Nanny Armoriola, Sesu 5. Isang virtual naman po na palapakan para kay Ma'am. Uh, 
Hi, Miss Teen. Sorry. <laughs> Hello, Miss Teen. Good afternoon. Ako na ba? Opo, ma'am. Oh, okay. Busy kasi si ma'am eh. <laughs> Multitasking yeah. si ma'am. Multitasking. Okay, so good afternoon, everyone. So to everyone who, who are uh, joining us in this activity on live stream, sa tanan ng mga teachers in SDO Masbate to, to, to other teachers who katin, <laughs> yung kasubo mo ako tin. <laughs> <laughs> and to to uh, teachers who are from other places as well, good afternoon. May na hapun po sa atan tanan. So my appreciation and salute to the team who conceptualized this activity, which for me is very relevant, very timely, and appropriate. Not only for us here in the Department of Education, but for pe for people in all walks of life. So, you know, before this pandemic drastically changed our lives, we have been used to doing things together with our friends, with our family, and our co-workers. Around, uh, with our co-workers, so we do face-to-face -face meetings, uh, attend classes, face-to-face -face as well, and we spend so much time in malls and watch movies in cinemas and and uh, of course we we uh, party all night and but this all seemed to change overnight because of this uh, dreadful tiny virus which affected our lives and we seem to have been given with no option than to stay at home and go online. So uh, that's when virtual meetings through Zoom or uh, Microsoft Teams or Google, Google Meet, online shopping, Netflix, Google Classrooms, and a lot more came into being. And this became the new normal. And you know, if we cannot adjust ourselves with this, then we will surely be left out. In this most uncertain times, we uh, turn to ICT to make connections with friends, with families, co-workers, and with other people. We need ICT as well to satisfy our basic needs. Uh, by, so we do online shopping sometimes. We also keep ICT to uh, have some fun and a little enjoyment even in our isolation and in our work as teachers we need technology to ensure that we continue to provide to provide better education to our learners and so as we transition to this new normal there is a need to promote the development and widespread, widespread use of emerging technologies and equip our teachers and everyone by capacitating and upskilling uh, with the necessary ICT competencies. And I'm glad that our ICT team came up with this undertaking. I hope that this activity will help each of us, and that include myself, because I know I need this as much as you do, to do our tasks and responsibilities better and adapt to the changing needs of times. So relax and enjoy and have fun while learning. Thank you, and once again, a pleasant afternoon, everyone. All right, kahit na pasubo si Ma'am. Alam ko kasi na uh, busy si Ma'am. Kitang-kita ko naman siya kanina. And you said it in all, Ma'am, na napakahala po. Ta. Salamat po at na-appreciate po ng lahat. Kahit po, Ma'am, sa responses po ng teachers natin, meron po mga ganong mga responses sila na napakahalaga daw po sa kanila ng ganitong classing training. Thank you very much, Ma'am. Okay. All right, ladies and friends, let's move on now to, of course, the very meat of this session. Unang salvo po natin about Google Workspace for Education. Ladies and friends, 
our speaker is a graduate, a bachelor of secondary education from the University of the Philippines, Diliman. He acquired his Master's of Arts in History from the Ateneo de Manila University. He's currently taking up his postgraduate studies at the University of the Philippines, Diliman, under the Tri-College Philippine Studies Doctorate Program. Currently, he's a full-time faculty at Xavier School and a part-time lecturer at the Ateneo de Manila University. Wow. He is a Google Certified Educator Level 1 and 2, and he also belongs to the Google for Education Certified Innovators 6A20 cohort, of which only 75 were accepted, with only two coming from the Philippines. At isa po siya doon. He is also a Google for Education Certified Training and Google for Education Certified Coach, first in the Philippines. He is the founder of Kaagapay Teacher Support, which provides different forms of assistance to teachers all over the country. And in fact, one of our schools here in STO Masbati Province ay recipient po niya, kamakailan lang po. Ladies and friends, our resource speaker for us to introduce the Google Workspace for Education, Sir Franco Nicolo P. Adon. Sir? Hello, Ms. Tina. Uh, good afternoon. Magandang hapon. At um, uh, kinagagala kong uh, mabisita po kayo lahat dito sa Masbate, no? kahit virtually. Pero sabi ko kay uh, Ms. Tina kanina, Sana makarating ako sa Masbate kasi nakita ko yung video kanina na napakaganda ng Masbate. No? So I hope uh, to to really visit all of you there no teacher. But for now let's uh, make use of the virtual space and the yes. space to uh, to learn from each other at uh, mas matuto pa tayo tukol sa Google Workspace for Education. So uh, maganda magandang hapon po ulit. Ang ano okay. konti uh, ginaga- So I think that's um uh, Apo. Ginagaya ko lang yung ginagawa mo sa ano sa YouTube channel. Ano po yung ano konting ano lang po uh, overview kung ano po yung matutunan nila this afternoon. Okay, so uh, teachers, dahil dalawang sessions tayo, no? so uh, unfortunately or fortunately, makikita niyo po ako sa dalawang beses <laughs> sa event na to. Okay. So I hope that's August fortunate 5. at uh, natutuwa po kayo na mat- ma- makita. No? So uh, teachers, for our session for today, it will just basically be focusing on uh, Google Workspace for Education introductions. I'll be bringing you um, all the tools by Google Workspace for Education. I'll be explaining uh, which, uh, um, what, what are, ano yung mga gamit, what are the uh, functions, okay, and the uses of the d- different tools. And as well as, I'll be focusing on um, some um, the key features of Google Workspace for Education at bakit natin siya dapat gamitin at, dap- at bakit natin siya pwedeng gamitin uh, for education. As well as, I'll be giving some glimpses and also some um, some updates no uh, that, that recently came in this 2021. And we will have a very um, quick uh, di- deep dive in one of the tools, which is very, very essential um, as we enter into the Google Workspace for Education, which is Google Chrome. Okay, so I'll be bringing it to Google Chrome later for a demonstration of the tool and how we can access our uh, different Google Workspace for Education tools. Yan. Maganda, okay, maganda yan. Po. Sige po. Hindi na po namin papatatagalin pa, Sir Franco. Take it away po. Sa'yo na po ang bong screen. Thank you po. <laughs> Sir yeah, teachers, magandang magandang hapon. And uh, again, uh, I'll just wait for my presentation to be shared. Okay, uh, let's wait for it. Pero again, teachers, um, um, ano muna tayo, teachers, no? siguro kumustahan muna tayo dyan sa ating chat. Takilagay po sa chat uh, ang inyong level of in terms of comfortability uh, pagdating sa Google Workspace for Education. Um, can you uh, type um, one if beginner, okay? um, up to five kapag expert. Okay? You can also do type uh, uh, two, three, four if you're in between. Okay? So let's see kung nasan po tayo. Para I could also, ano, no, in a way, um, um, assess no uh, kung ano pa yung mga levels natin uh, pagdating sa paggamit at pagkakaalam natin sa Google Workspace for Education. Okay, so I'll be waiting teachers sa ating chat okay, uh, yung mga levels natin. Okay, okay one uh, for beginners, um, five to uh, expert. Okay, syempre baka may mga expert po tayo dito. No? At uh, could actually also contribute to the discussion. Yan. I like that I'm seeing three. Okay, right now. Okay, that's... um. Uh, one, three, okay. Okay, that's uh, very valid teachers, okay. Okay. Um, and then I think that there's really value on providing a um, uh, an introduction to Google Workspace for Education because syempre, no, um, sometimes, okay, um, we underestimate, ano, no, uh, 
my might be the topic is um, too basic or too fundamental for everyone so at least uh, it's a good call kaya yeah, that for our teachers to um uh, for for uh, this program to begin with um sa introduction natin yan teachers ay tayo ko lang no um uh, miss team can you show my presentation now yeah okay now teachers uh let's of course now this will be an introduction to google workspace for education this will be a fundamental basics i can see a lot of one a lot of two some three skate uh and i think that's good no uh at least you're open and bukas po tayong lahat sa pagkatuto tungkol sa google workspace for education at yun ang gusto natin okay uh more than like uh ano no yung um na alam natin lahat okay the openness to learn okay it's actually what matters no pagdating sa mga ganitong pagkakataon okay so again i'm uh franco nicolo p adon teachers okay and I'll be your uh, your trainer no? uh, for uh, for this session. Okay, I'm from uh, Kaagapay Teacher Support. Okay, uh, I'm admin and uh, one of the administrators of Kaagapay Teacher Support together with uh, Sir Jambi, Teacher Pao, and uh, Sir Jello. Okay, I'm a Google Certified Trainer as mentioned by uh, by Miss Tin earlier. Okay, so this is what I do. This is what I what what was I was tasked to do uh, to uh, to train and to uh, to bring forth no. To bring closer to Google uh, the Google Workspace for the patient to teachers. At so, sana po yan ang ating magawa para sa araw na ito, teachers. Pero again, teachers, okay, lagi ko siya sabi sa mga training events namin, okay, is that I will not come here. No, I I did not come here. Sorry, I did not come here as the sole expert in the room. Okay, so what I invite everyone to do is makipag uh, talakayan po tayo, makipag uh, magkomento po tayo ng mga alam natin. Um, Magbigay po tayo ng ating mga idea, uh, komento, uh, saluubin, uh, insights kay, tungkol sa ating session for today sa ating chat. No? Pag initin po natin yung chat na yan, at pag may mga katanungan din po tayo, pwede rin po tayo magtanong doon. So let's all contribute. Let this be what we call a collaborative webinar. Okay? Rather than just one person talking uh, to all of you and uh, like uh, telling you know, what to do and how to do and how how to go about it. Okay? So yan, teachers, ang ating... Um, and po ako, no? Uh, okay, by the way, teachers, mabago lang tayo magsimula, okay? I'd like to invite everyone, baka lang po uh, interesado kayo, we have an ongoing series kay Kaagapay Teacher Support which might help you uh, further, no, in uh, navigating in this distance learning, okay? This, our July series is totally about distance learning or preparation or, uh, in a way, no, revisiting distance learning and recalibrating distance learning for next school year. So, sana po makasali po tayo at maka... Um, uh, nakadalo po tayo sa mga training events na yan. Okay, that's a, uh, at Kaagapay Teacher Support. Okay, uh, check nyo lang po yung page namin. Okay. Okay. So teachers, let's now begin our session, no? Okay, uh, for today. Okay, so the first one that we're going to talk about is the Google Workspace for Education. So dapat, di talaga tayo nagsisimula, no? Dapat ma malinaw muna ang pagkakaintindi natin kung ano ba ang Google Workspace for Education. At uh, para saan ba ito? Um, at pa paano ba ito ginagamit? Uh, at, um, Ano ba ang mga nilalaman ng Google Workspace for Education? At isa to sa mga dapat ating nililino kasi may mga rami ng misconceptions, no? At minsan, itong mga misconceptions na to ang nakakahadlang sa atin para mas magamit fully ang Google Workspace for Education. At yung mga bagay na lilinawin ko para sa araw na ito, para sa ating lahat, okay? So una-una, uh, pag um, pinag-usapan natin, tanungin muna natin, what is Google Workspace for Education? Okay, That's the first thing that we'll have to ask. That's the first thing we'll have to answer Okay, uh, when, we, when we talk about um, introduction to Google Workspace for Education. So teachers, when we talk about Google Workspace for Education, we're basically talking about this cloud computing, productivity, and collaboration tools introduced by Google in 2006. Okay? Uh, and uh, Google Workspace for Education is formerly known as G Suite for Education. So teachers, kung, bagam, kung gumagamit pa tayo ng word na G Suite, wag na po teachers, no? Kasi that's already been a uh, ano na, a term, okay? That has been replaced by Google, okay? Uh, to be called the Google Workspace for Education. Okay, so again, G Suite no more, Google Workspace for Education na po ang tawag natin sa G Suite na yan. Okay, kung very familiar tayo kasi matagal natin ginamit yung G Suite, no? Since 2006, okay? Um... Ngayon po teachers, no? dapat mas masayang tayo kasi ang tawag na po natin dyan ay Google Workspace for Education. Okay, let me just um, uh, ano, no, emphasize a okay? couple of things here sa ating uh, ano, no, sa definition natin ng Google Workspace for Education. Okay? So first of all, okay, the first one is that uh, the word Google Workspace. Okay? So uh, it is a rebranding. No? Uh, kakalabas lang po yan this year, okay? uh, 2021. Okay? Yung idea ng Google Workspace for Education. Okay? Um, so since if, uh, even last year, no, 2020, we're still using the G Suite 
as a name for these tools. Okay, pero um, this 2021, nag-update uh, po tayo, nag-rebrand si Google, ng Google, ng G Suite niya into Google Workspace for Education. And one of the reasons, no, of course, wala naman siya official reason talaga, no, si Google on why rebrand, okay, is that there's this notion, okay, that uh, Google, no, wanted to um, to pursue an idea, okay, uh, the idea of a workspace, okay. Ang gusto ni Google is that maipaabot sa mga users niya, kilala sa mga teachers, mga educators sa gumagamit ng Google Workspace for Education, na ito ay workspace, na wala ka nang hahanapin, okay? na kompleto na. Whatever you have to, uh, that you will need as an educator or as a teacher, okay? you will get it from the Google Workspace for Education to be able to do your task, to be able to do your uh, your job as a teacher. Okay? Yan yung gusto niyang uh, if, uh, ano, ipaabot. Okay? That's the reason why, okay, mamaya papakita ko rin teachers, no, how the Google Workspace for Education is also can be considered no, a one-stop shop for education. Na talagang pag umupo ka dito, makukuha mo na at makikita mo na yung mga kailangan mo for you to be able to facilitate that this the learning the teaching and learning process most especially in a distance learning modality okay so yun ang gusto natin yun una una na yung rebranding niya okay and of course yung tinatawag nating cloud computing teachers okay isa to sa pinaka importanteng konsepto na dapat nating malaman at matandaan about Google Workspace for Education that Google Workspace for Education is founded on the idea of cloud computing Okay? At mamaya pag-uusapan natin yan when we talk about okay, um, Google Drive. Okay? Because essentially, teachers know, for you to be able to fully maximize and to fully understand Google Workspace for Education, you'll have to embrace no, yung tinatawag natin cloud computing kasi dyan nakasandal, dyan nakasandig no, yung Google Workspace for Education natin. Although, meron din syempre mga alternative like the offline modality ng iba't ibang mga tools natin for Google Workspace for Education, Napakahalaga na maintindihan natin yung idea ng cloud computing okay? because that will open up all the possibilities in the Google Workspace for Education. Okay? So teachers, I hope that's clear. I hope that's clear. Okay? Uh, uh, like, uh, let, 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 let me just know uh, in the chat if uh, you have questions okay? or you have reactions. I can see here teacher Janice from um, Placer West, West Masbate, Google Workspace for Education with the heart. Okay? And I want, I want that heart. No? Um, to be something that we all um, I don't know, uh, feel later on, okay, about Google Workspace for Education. Yeah, okay. So teachers, okay, uh, that's what is Google Workspace for Education, okay? Now, um, how do I know if I'm using a Google Workspace for Education account? Teachers, okay, kung kayo po ay isang depth ed teacher, okay, at kung magamit po kayo ng, uh, ng, uh, ng email, okay, na with that deped.gov.ph or yung mas specific to your um, SDO. Uh, I don't know if um, uh, mas bate sa very specific uh, domain, no? Pero as long as you're using the deped.gov.ph account, you are using a Google Workspace for Education account, okay? Kasi po lahat ng deped accounts natin ay um, Google Workspace for Education accounts po yan, okay? And I will just explain later kasi may iba't ibang level though. Okay? Diyan tayo nagkakaroon ng misunderstanding. Okay? Now, teachers, if you are using uh, a Google account that ends with uh, at gmail.com, that's a personal account. Yan. Okay? Apps ba ang Google for Education? Nalalaman po natin yung teacher dito. No? Yan po ipapaliwanag ko mamaya. Ano nga ba itong Google Workspace for Education? Ano at nilalaman nito? Okay? At yan ang um, uh, i-cover ko mamaya. No? Teach. Hindi ko lang mabanggit po yung pangalan niya kasi it's in, uh, it's in Hangul. No? Uh, but, uh, but that I will cover later on. Ano yung mga nilalaman ni uh, Google Workspace for Education? But yes, okay? That's the, uh, it involved... Uh, it involves apps, teachers. No? Okay? So teachers, again, kung gumagamit po tayo ng deped.gov.ph accounts, kayo po ay naka-Google Workspace for Education. Okay? Automatic po. Okay, now, let's go to the levels. Okay? Now, uh, if you're using Google Workspace for Education, there are different levels of the account. Okay? Uh, ang deped accounts po natin, teachers, no, ay nandun sa first level, ang tiyatawag nilang Google Workspace for Education Fundamentals. Okay? So yan po, tandaan na lang po natin teachers, no, kasi mahalaga yan because uh, knowing that your uh, Google Workspace for Education account is a fundamental account gives you an idea which tools you can access 
and to what extent you can access those tools. Okay? Of course, meron po tayong second level na tawag ng standards. May bayad po yung teachers, no? Uh, if you, uh, if your um, school wants to um, to upgrade, okay? that will cost you three dollars per student per year. Okay? Um, to be able to upgrade to Google Workspace for Education standards, okay? that will give you a little bit more than fundamentals. Okay? And of course, punta po tayo, no? skip tayo dun sa last column which is the Google Workspace for Education Plus. Yan naman po ang tinatawag nating highest level, highest tier ng Google Workspace for Education. Nandiyan na po lahat ng mga features, ng mga tools, ng mga um, functions ni Google Workspace for Education. No? But that will cost you around $5 per student per year. Okay? Okay. Uh, teacher Mel Malana Ramos, okay? your Gmail account po, okay? I called at... Um, uh, if it ends, no, teacher uh, Mildred, into um, at gmail.com, okay? That's a personal account, okay? That's automatic, teacher Mildred, okay? Uh, your Gmail account here is a personal account. Yes, okay? And that you cannot upgrade, no? Ang personal account teachers cannot be upgraded, okay? To Google Workspace for Education, okay? So, yun po yung separation teachers, no? Again, if you are using um, uh, an email that ends with at gmail.com, that's a personal account. That's a personal Google account. You will have access to uh, different tools by Google, pero not to the fullest extent. Okay? Um, most of the tools by Google no, are, um, um, or, and the features no, can be accessed via the Google Workspace for Education account, which you have via your DepEd account, teachers. Okay? So I hope, teachers, this is clear. Okay? That this um, our um, accounts, okay, and as well as our level of accounts, okay. So so far right now, teachers, malamang marami sa atin, okay, if not all, ay nandito po sa Google Workspace for Education fundamentals po tayo, okay. Uh, talagang may kailangan pong ano na extra payment kung gusto nating uh, mag Education Plus, okay. Uh, some uh, other uh, things, no. This is our also some um, of the differences, okay, between uh, an, a fundamental a standard and a, a education plus account okay so for example um isa sa pinaka biggest difference ng mga accounts at the teachers ay sa Google Meet okay so for example if you are using a Google Meet using a fundamentals account you only have a 100 participants limit okay yan po yung limit natin pero okay but okay if you have an education plus account teachers okay uh, that will give you at um uh, at most, no, 250 participants limit. Plus, okay, kapag naka-education plus po tayo, pwede tayong mag-live streaming ng ating mga calls. Okay? So, yan po ang ating, sa mga biggest difference, no? And there are more, no? no? Um, more differences, no, between uh, a fundamental standard and a plus, okay? Now, but teachers, no, even if we're using a fundamental account, that should not limit us as much. Okay, kasi ang dami na rin pong features ni Google Workspace for Education, fundamentals account for the teachers. Okay? And let me go to the last one, which is a special upgrade. No? This is called the teaching and learning upgrade. Okay? So if you are in a fundamental account, okay, kaya lang, okay, and you want the features of Education Plus, okay, pero wala, um, uh, your school won't, uh, won't, won't, uh, doesn't want to upgrade, okay? and or walang budget for an upgrade to Education Plus, you can actually upgrade um, individually okay? uh, using what they call the teaching and learning upgrade. Okay? Uh, but that's a little bit more expensive, teachers. No, That uh, actually comes at uh, $4 per license per month. Okay, So this is actually very useful uh, for some teachers that might want to have uh, know, additional features to their Google Workspace for Education. But, okay? Um, even teachers, if you want to upgrade for this, you'll have to talk to your Google Admin Console because they'll be the one to facilitate the upgrade for you. Okay, but again, that's per license per teacher. Okay, that's uh, if you want no. Um, if you don't want to upgrade the entire school to Education Plus, you might want to upgrade individually using the teaching and learning upgrade. Okay. Okay, so teachers, let me stop at that first. Okay, and let me see first, kung uh, if we're clear on that. Okay. Okay, uh, in the chat. Okay, let me know. For example, um, let just give me like a like a like a clear okay uh, chat okay um, in the chat room and in our comment section. So I know I can proceed, and there are no questions about the different accounts because that's very important. Okay, knowing what your account is and what you have access to 
um, spells no uh, your um, the optimization of the Google Workspace for location. I'll just wait for a while, okay, uh, for some comments, okay, and um, let's, uh, check that uh, private chat. Okay, I think there are none. Okay, no questions so far. Okay, so I think that's clear. Okay. Or medyo may delay lang syempre yung ating chat. Talk. I know there's a delay. Eh. Okay, so I don't know if nagta-type na kay teachers ng clear or anything. Uh, but uh, I haven't um, I haven't seen it right now. Okay? Anyway, teachers, no? kapag meron pa tayong questions about the accounts, okay, let me know. Okay? okay, I have a thumbs up right now from teacher Elaine Arizala. Thank you so much for that, teacher. That uh, bring, ano, maraming maraming salamat. Okay? So again, teachers, okay? uh, unless nag-upgrade po ang school nyo, lahat po tayo ngayon, if you're using the DepEd account, ay meron tayong tiyatawag na Google Workspace for Education Fundamentals Account. Okay. Now, if we're clear with the account features, let's now go to the Google Workspace for Education. At alamin natin exactly kung ano nga ba itong um, Google Workspace for Education na to. Okay. So, unang-una, before I begin, teachers, no, meron tayong four strate uh, strategic themes, okay, uh, from wherein or where, um, where the Google Workspace for Education actually uh, focus on. Okay. So unang-una, ito yung apat na bagay na talagang um, pinufocus no at um, um, where the tools are, okay? Are develop um, develop no um, or um, um, founded on, okay? The ideas or the themes where the tools are founded on. Okay? So unang-una, uh, it's always collaborative, okay? Second, okay, it's easy to use. Okay, yan yung sa mga pangako ni Google uh, Workspace for Education na hindi mahirap gamitin ang mga tools ni Google Workspace for Education. Plus, okay, engaging and inclusive. Okay, so all the uh, features on accessibility, uh, make it more engaging, user-friendly, uh, interactive, etc. are being done by Google Workspace for Education. And, uh, for the, uh, and the last one, teachers, no, yung tinatawag nating safe and secure. Okay? Siyempre, napakalaga for Google Workspace for Education na mapangalagaan ang security nyo po bilang isang guro at ng mga estudyante natin ang kanilang data privacy. Okay? Kaya notice, by the way, teachers, no, kung hindi nyo po napapansin, pag nag-open kayo ng mga Google Workspace for Education tools, walang ads. Isa yan sa mga security natin. Hindi na bi-breach no? at hindi na kukuha ng mga outsider okay? or mga third-party companies ang mga data natin okay? unless we have given them permission to do so. Okay? Yan tinatawag nating safe safety and security protocols ni Google Workspace for Education. Okay? So teachers, eto na ngayon yung ating gagamitin bilang uh, ano no um um focal ano, focal points kay ng ating pagtatalakay at pag-uusap tungkol sa Google Workspace for Education. Okay? So let me just now go through, okay? Um the Google Workspace for Education tools, okay? So iisa-isahin natin teachers no para mas malaman natin, okay? Uh, itong mga, ano ba itong mga tools, ano ba yung mga included sa Google Workspace for Education? Now, teachers, okay? may isang question ka dina. Si Google Workspace for Education po ba? Or si Google for Education tools po ba? Ay apps. Yes, teachers. Okay? Yes and no, actually. Okay? Um, si Google Workspace for Education teachers ay set of tools, okay? Uh, meant to uh, deliver no um, collaboration and productivity in many levels and ways. Okay? Bakit sinabi kong yes and no? Kasi marami po sa mga tools ni Google Workspace for Education can be accessed or can um, can be accessed via the browser, pero meron din po tayong mga tinatawag na mobile applications and I will also discuss that later no. I will mention if the tool can be accessed via mobile or via browser. Okay? So I hope that's clear. Okay? So um to, uh, to the teacher kanina, kalimutan kong pangalan teacher kanina no. Who <laughs> asked kanina if Google Workspace for Education are um, applications? Yes po. Okay, these are set of application and tools okay, that can be accessed via browser and via mobile. Okay? Yan. Okay, so let's now teachers, unahin natin, isa-isahin natin ang mga tools, some of the tools no, not all, okay, but some of the tools under the Google Workspace for Education. Okay? So una natin teacher syempre, uh, hindi natin pwedeng uh, ano no, um, hindi natin pwedeng gamitin, okay? Si Google Workspace for Education in its fullest, okay? Without understanding yung Google Drive natin, okay? So ito po yung kauna-unahan, isa sa pinakaunang tool na dapat nating ma-explore fully, okay? At matingnan, okay? Um uh, para po mas ma mas mas magamit natin si Google Workspace for Education. Bakit po teachers? Kasi lahat po ng files na gagawin nyo under Google Workspace for Education uh, teachers 
will always end up in your Google Drive. Lahat yan teachers, okay? At ito teachers, no, kaya tawag sa kanya ay centralized online storage for Google Workspace for Education. It's because your files in Google Workspace for Education will not be saved in your computer. Hindi po yan ilalagay sa computer nyo. So wala na po tayo magiging problema about storage. Di ba sometimes nakakainis po teachers no, na ang bigat-bigat na ng laptop natin sa sobrang daming files. Kay Google Workspace for Education, hindi po yan nangyayari. Kasi ang files nyo po ay napupunta online, okay? not into your computer. Okay? The second one. Uh, and of course, no, dahil nasa online siya, okay? lahat ng files ng teachers no, can easily be accessed across devices. Hindi mo na kailangan mag-USB. Hindi mo na kailangan mag-CD. Hindi mo na kailangan mag-transfer files pa. Because your files, since it's online, can be accessed from your mobile phone, from your tablet, to your laptop, to your desktop. Lahat yan, teachers. As long as you sign in, you'll have access to all your files to that particular uh, Google account. Okay? Now, Huwag ating kakalimutan, teachers. No? Now, whenever you, um, whenever you use Google Workspace for Location and you sign in using your Google account, okay, teachers, automatically, there's a dedicated Google Drive for you. Okay? So, your account na yan, so one account, one Google Drive. That's it. That's, uh, that's uh, our um, uh, formula, teachers. No? So, again, every time you have a Google account, uh, your DepEd account, teachers, for example, will have one dedicated Google Drive for you. Okay? Yan po ating uh, teachers Google Drive. Let me just show you quickly, teachers, now what Google Drive looks like. Okay? So when you open Google Drive, teachers, this is what you're going to see. Okay? Um, and I won't be able to discuss everything, teachers, now, but ano lang, very, very quick lang. Gusto ko lang pakita what a Google Drive looks like. Okay? So teachers, dito, kay Google Drive, you can arrange, no, organize your files. Okay? So as you can see here, this is my uh, drive. Okay? This is my Google Drive okay? uh, associated to my Google account, this particular Google account. Okay? Let me just uh, quickly show you. So here, teachers, you can create folders okay? um, to organize your files. You can upload files here, um, etc. Okay? Uh, and of course, okay, yan, medyo mabagal ang aking computer. Okay? <laughs> Kasi mabag ma mabigat po talaga si StreamYard. No? So pag, every time gumagamit ako ng StreamYard, okay? uh, mabagal talaga no? pag nag-sharing ako. Anyway, teachers, okay, so let me just wait for that. Okay? Um, okay. So teachers, yan, okay? Yan na po nakita niyo teachers, no. This are this is my Google Drive, okay? So you can see here uh, folders, okay? Uh, that's um, properly arranged, okay? Um, about Google Workspace for the uh, about about my files teachers, no. So diyan nakalagay lahat ng mga files ko um, in my Google Drive, okay? So you can create folders here, okay? You can also directly create files right here teachers, okay? When you go to the upper right corner of your Google Drive, okay? Look here, um, you will be able to create uh, all the files, okay? That's um, within your Google Workspace for Education um, uh, account, no? Yan. Okay. Yan. Okay, teachers, hindi lang. Medyo mabagal lang ako. Okay. Um, yan, teachers. So, you can see here, um, sa upper right corner ko, okay, you can see, you can create a lot of files. You can upload a folder. You can um, upload the file. Okay. Um, create a folder. Okay. Uh, create Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, Google um, Forms, okay? from your Google Drive, and so much more. If you click more here, you'll actually see a lot of other things, okay, right here. Okay, you can create Google Drawing, um, Google Earth, okay, Google Sites, etc. Okay, so there are multiple ways, no, uh, multiple um, uh, different files that you can actually create in Google Drive, okay? Now, what's the best thing about Google is that teachers, okay, in Google Drive, okay, whatever you put in your Google Drive, becomes shareable okay that's that's one of the best things about google drive no because your google drive is online it's a cloud computing um, application okay whenever you put a file here it becomes online and therefore google drive as can assign a particular link to access your file okay so just say for example i want to share this presentation this is the presentation i'm using right now okay if i right click on that presentation teachers no uh, or any file okay, there, um, there is in my uh, Google Drive, you will always see there that share link, okay, right there, okay? And whenever you click on these teachers, when you click uh, share, okay, that will prompt you to be able to share the file to anyone, okay? And that's the beauty of Google Drive. Look at the teachers, no? No more, uh, uh, no, no USB, uh, no other uh, external physical devices, okay? Uh, all I need to do is... Um, Next time, teachers, all I need to do is to uh, share 
the file using an email, okay? Or I can also share the file using a link. Okay? So there are two ways to share via Google Drive, email and link. Look at that pictures. I can put an email here of a person okay, to uh, send the file to them or to, sh to invite them into the file. Um, and uh, I can also um, copy a link here, teachers. Okay? Uh, and when I do that, I can share the link to anyone. Okay? Um, uh, and they will be able to access my file. But of course, teachers, no, there are some settings here. I won't be, uh, will check on that later on. But there are, of course, settings okay, that you can do in uh, whenever you're sharing files via Google Drive. For example, um if even if i'm sharing a link okay look at the teachers now even if i'm sharing a link okay of my file okay i can always determine okay the uh, the permission to that link so for example here um i can set that the link can be accessed by anyone right here and okay i can now also determine what can they do in my file right there can, they can access my link, yes, okay? but what can they do? Can, they can be viewer, they can be a commenter, or they can be an editor. Viewer basically can view and download. Commenter basically can view, download, and comment. And of course, editor can comment, um, edit, or do basically everything in your document. That is the beauty of Google Drive. Anything, teachers, no? Any file that you have, okay? Even, teachers, no, if you're working from a, a Microsoft uh, system, um, all your Microsoft files no, can also be opened in your Google Drive. Okay, just drag them into your Google Drive or upload them in Google Drive. Google Drive will read it for you. Uh, for uh, for Microsoft Word document features, it will be read in Google Docs. Okay, uh, for your Microsoft Excel will be read in your Google Sheets, and your Microsoft PowerPoint presentations will be read in Google Slides. Okay, so no more problems about access to different files. Okay, whatever file is that that's accessible by google drive okay okay moving on teachers that's uh the first tool no uh that we have to take notice in google uh, workspace for education the second one is of course our uh, google classroom okay you can't like have no you can't like uh can't forget google classroom when I, when you're talking about google workspace for education dapat alam natin ang google uh, classroom kapag gusto natin gamitin si Google Workspace for Education kasi yan ang ating learning management system. Okay? That uh, enables us to facilitate um, assignment okay? and instruction online. Even actually not online, no? uh, even before uh, the pandemic happened, I have been using Google Classroom uh, for quite some time. Okay? So this is a learning management system that allows you to, um, to assign assignments, okay? give announcements, okay? give materials, okay? um, uh, grade your assignment, the um, works of your uh, students. Okay? Etc. Let me just quickly uh, show you what a Google Classroom looks like. Okay? So this is my sample, no? um, Google Classroom. Okay? So whenever you go to Google Classroom teachers, you're going to see here um, your classes. Okay? So you can actually set up, as a teacher, no? you can actually set up multiple classes. Okay? For example, you have five sections. Then you can actually set up five Google classes for your uh, five sections. Okay? So for example, here I have uh, my sample class here. Okay? And this is what a Google Classroom looks like, okay? So there you go, teachers. You can see I have here my stream. It's basically the, the feed, no? Or like similar to Facebook feed, all your announcements would um, would uh, pop in or pop out, no? Um, in your stream, okay, like there. So whenever you post like an assignment, okay, um, uh, reminders or announcements, etc. cetera, okay, it will always end up into your Google Classroom, uh, into your stream, okay? And look at these teachers, no? This is one of the best things about Google Classroom. You can organize your topic, your uh, your lessons, no, and your postings in what we call topics. Look at how organized that could be. If you're, for example, doing modules or units, teachers, your um, lessons in your LMS are not scattered around. Okay? Your students will see it in a very organized manner. Look at that. Okay. For example, I have Unit One, uh, World War One. I. I have Unit Two, Interwar Years, and so on and so forth. And look, teachers, no that all my assignments and my postings and, or classworks that I assign to them okay, are actually organized within a particular topic. So, hindi po siya kalat-kalat, hindi siya hiwa-hiwalay. Okay? So, whenever my students go to my class, okay, they would be able to see, ah, these are the activities for Unit 1. Ah, oh, this is the, these are the activities for Unit 2. Ganun po teachers, no? napaka-organized. And, of course, no, aside from that teachers, okay, 
you have multitudes of ways no or multiple uh, different and varied uh, classworks that you can assign to your students you have assignment you have quiz assignment okay uh, if there are submissions okay you have question if you would like just to ask uh, a particular question okay like um like a reflection question or maybe um, a discussion question pwede ka ring magpost ng materials okay like um any material, okay? Uh, you can reuse a post, okay? Uh, also, if you want, for example, for other classes, para hindi ka na magpapaulit-ulit, or pwede mong gamitin yung mga nasa ibang classes mo, or classes from last year, okay? Uh, again, you can reuse them and repost them, okay? And of course, teachers, uh, this um, organization that I showed you earlier are actually done using a topic. So you can set up topics so that your lessons and your modules are properly organized, okay? So yeah, teachers, no, ang beauty natin, Kay Google Classroom and look at that pictures. No, si Google Classroom is properly integrated okay, into the other tools by Google Workspace, uh, Workspace for Education. You have your Google Meet here, you have your Google Calendar here, and you have your Class Drive folder here. Okay, so uh, we're we're talking about collaboration, integration. There's nothing else better than that. Okay, so you have other tools existing into your Google Classroom to even further facilitate the learning process in a much fluid, better, um, I don't know, um, uh, efficient, no, effective way. Okay, that's your Google Classroom, and of course, no, uh, you can see here grades. Okay, you can also import grades of your students. Okay, so you have clearly, you have a clear monitoring. So no need for a separate um, data workbook or uh, a workbook altogether. Okay, for your grades, your grades are curated by Google Classroom uh, for you. Okay, even computed at the end. Okay, Google Classroom can also assign grades for you if you want. Okay, that's Google Classroom for you, teachers. The power of Google Classroom. Okay, okay. Next one, teachers, is um, okay. So that's uh for our LMS. Okay, and of course we also have uh Google Sites. Okay, those who haven't tried Google Sites, teachers, no, then you're missing a lot. Okay, because Google Sites, teachers, is one of the best tools yet no, I have encountered as an educator because okay, this is a, sorry, an, an, a no-coding website builder. Okay? Because before, di ba, kapag gusto natin gumawa ng website, kailangan natin ng mga HTML, coding, um, technical skills to be able to put up one. And again, teachers, no, I always admire those people na talagang kayang mag-build ng website okay, from coding, HTML, etc. But think about building a website without those codes. Without any of those, no. With, with just basically a drag and drop, uh, drag and drop function. Look at these teachers. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, let me just uh, quickly show you teachers, no. Um, so able to link there. Okay. Uh, Google Sites. Okay. So this is what we see uh, when we go to uh, Google Sites, no. Sites. Okay. If we go to sites.google.com. Okay. So if you're interested, for example, putting up a website for your school, putting up a website for your class, okay, this is the tool that we're looking for, that you are looking for, teachers. Look at that, okay? This is, uh, when you go to sites at google.com, it already will give you, okay, you can start from blank teachers, yeah, okay? Uh, a blank website, okay, if you want, okay? But look at that, you can also create, no, or start from templates. May templates sa teachers, no? Imagine that. Hindi lang madali yung tool, mas pinadali pa niya kasi marami ka na rin mga templates. No? For example, uh, if you want to create a class website, you have there a class website template right there, okay? Um, which we're, has already been made uh, and done for you, okay? So for example, if I click on that, okay, this is how easy it gets teachers now. And this is how um, um, uh, good no? Google Sites is for teachers and also for our students, okay? Imagine, for example, um, researches of your students, okay? Why not ask them to submit it in a Google site, okay? For example, all their findings, their reports, okay? Uh, instead of, like, reporting it um, um, in class, no, in a, in a video conference, you can actually do that, okay? Or why not, for example, put up a class website for your class, okay? Para if they want, for example, materials, okay? Uh, video lessons, etc., you can actually put it all here, okay? So this is, look at that, okay? This is a website right away, okay? Um, I can launch this already, okay, right there. I can see a publish button, okay? Um, right there. Of course, no, I can't walk you through in a very complete way, pero just to give you an idea, look at those uh, things that you can insert. You can insert a text box, an image, embed things, okay? Uh, you can insert things from your Google Drive, okay? You have layouts as well. 
and look at the so many things you can uh, insert teachers no you have image carousel button for links a divider uh youtube videos teachers you can insert youtube videos right here in your website how cool is that and how convenient is that okay uh, even calendar for example if you have a google calendar for your class okay uh, map uh, documents case slides sheets forms all kinds of materials teachers and what's good about these teachers whenever you insert these materials it appears on your website it does not like appear like a button or a link in your website. If you, for example, put a form in here, it will appear as a form. Okay. Let me show you, for example, our website now from uh, our Kaagapay Teacher Support website, which I built using uh, a Google uh, Google Sites. This is what it looks like uh, in a full run um, 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 website. No? So I have, for example, again, you can customize the banners. Okay. It's just not loading right now. Okay, let's just wait for a while, teachers. Okay, but okay, right there, teachers. Okay, um, I can insert almost anything. Okay, videos, okay, images. Okay, right here, for example, we have a video right here. Okay, I inserted as a video for Kagapai teacher support. Okay, I have text, for example, right here. Um, even for example, if I insert an entire Google Drive folder, I can do that here. Okay. And my, my students who have visits Google site can actually see that. Okay. Look at that. I can insert a Google form. For example, if you have a quiz, okay, you can actually put it here or um, a survey. Okay. I also have my calendar right here, etc. That is Google Sites for you teachers. Okay. That that's that's uh, and again, okay, that's that that's, that did not require okay any sort of coding. It's a drag and drop, click and go kind of um of a functionality. That's Google site for you. Uh, of course, teachers, now aside from that, we also have Google Docs, okay? Word processor for creating documents, okay? Think about uh, Microsoft uh, Word teachers, no, okay? Uh, but this time, teachers, your file are actually shareable as well, okay? Although, alam ko, for example, alam ko, and I know for a fact that even Microsoft Word, no, uh, is also shareable now. But teachers, no, this go, uh, Google Documents or Google Docs, okay, allows you to just do so many more, uh, so much more things, no, in your Google Document. Let me just... Um, Quickly show you teachers what it can do very, very quickly. Okay. Um, so again, teachers, when you open Google Docs, you can always start from um from scratch, you know, uh, a blank document. But don't forget, okay, that you will always have the so many uh ano, no, um templates, no, napakaganda mga templates ni Google Docs, no. Parin na po kayo nagsa start teachers from scratch, okay? Um, and you will always have uh ano, no, uh something to start with, no. Let me just uh, show you very quickly, teachers, okay, my demo document. Okay? Okay, and again, teachers, no, kakalabas lang. Ang daming mga bago ngayon. Okay? Um, <laughs> and dahil lang. Let me just, uh, just start from blank. <laughs> since I can't find my demo document. Okay, okay so teachers, dito, okay, uh, again, no, uh, if you have a file, okay, um, similar to how you have shared your files via Google Drive, okay, you also have here the capacity to share your file, okay. So no need to download, no need to like uh, put it in a in a storage device, okay. Your Google Docs is online and therefore can be shared. Look at the upper right corner, teachers. Can you see that black that blue button right there? That's your key to sharing your file, okay. If you click that button, teachers, no, whenever you're in your document, okay. Uh, and again, sometimes so may may um may ano lang may 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 hesitation. Takot ni mga teachers natin. Pero teachers, this works just fine. Any kind like any other word process, uh, word um processing uh, application like your Microsoft uh the word no. Um, you have your uh editors here. You can insert uh, things as well. And look at that. When I click that blue button on the upper from the upper right corner, I can share my file right there. Okay. Uh, let's uh, let's put a name first, no. Um, sample. This is a sample document. Okay. And it's the same thing, teachers, no. Hindi na mag-share kay Google uh, Workspace for Education. Kasi kaniya, di ba? Nakita niyo yung sharing kay Google Drive. It's the same thing. When you go to your Google Docs, okay, uh, you'll also see here an option to uh, share it by email or share it by link. Okay. So hindi po siya nakakalito. Okay. And Every time you share to a person, okay, let me just um, emphasize on that one, teachers. Notice that whenever you share to a person via email, you always have that ability to change their permission. 
I share it to a person, but I don't want them to become an editor. I can set them to a viewer or to a commenter. You always have that power, teachers. So, hindi yan basta basta nawawala. Okay? Uh, that's, that's teachers, no? Um, for Google Docs. Okay? This card natin, teachers. Okay, that's... Uh, Nagi teachers, and dami pa niyan. Okay? Uh, I hope I can um, um, show you everything, but uh, maybe not today. Okay? Because tomorrow will be our practical... Um, showcase of these different tools. I'm just okay, um, scratching the surface of Google Workspace for education. Okay, what about presentations? Okay, si mga naghahanap po ng presentation dyan, teachers, no? Um, then the, definitely, no, you'll have to use Google Slides. Okay, and what what's good about Google Slides, teachers, while it's not as powerful as the Microsoft uh, PowerPoint presentation, is that it's properly integrated into your Google for education tools. Okay. You can, for example, put an entire slides into your Google Sites. Okay, uh, when sharing via Google Meet, Google Slides works best. Okay, compared to other tools. Okay, um, compared, for example, if you're using other tools, etc., Google Slides is a much better option. Although, again, it's not as powerful. Yes, there are functions that are not present yet, and medyo madami pang kulang. Pero I'm telling you, um, um, in terms of like integration, in terms of it working well with the with the other tools in the Google Workspace for Education, Google Slides should be your um, your uh, your go-to presentation maker. So when you go to Google Slides, teachers, it's the same thing. Okay, uh, it's going to show you a uh, option to create from a blank presentation. Okay, and of course you can always always start no from uh, from um, from a template as well. Okay, you can look at that. Okay. You have a template for um, a, a book, book, re, uh, book report presentation, a portfolio presentation, party invite, lesson planning if you want. Okay? Um, sorry for that. Okay? Um, and of course, so much more. If you go go and look at the template gallery teachers, look at that. Okay? When you click that three, it's going to show you even more. Okay? So you have even more uh, templates that you can use okay, to begin with your presentation. Okay? And uh, again, it has the same um, functionalities no? um, with your Google Docs, okay, Google Drive. It can be shared. That's the best thing. Imagine, for example, you can actually assign a, a one presentation to your students okay? um, and um, work on it collaboratively. You can also, for like, example, work with another teacher uh, for a presentation that you might be using for a, um, a, um, uh, an event in your uh, place, etc. That is uh, the beauty of Google Slides. Okay? And again, uh, integration-wise, no, that's, uh, that's the best thing about Google Slides. Okay? How about okay, uh, data analytics? Okay? Uh, for those who are looking forward, okay? uh, using data or uh, analyzing data for, uh, for, um, for their classes, okay? for example, okay? you have okay, a very powerful as well. No? Okay? And this one is not something that it's no longer no. Um, uh, behind okay, Microsoft Excel. This is the equivalent of Microsoft Excel. Features. If you're using Microsoft Excel, that's um, basically, you know, uh, it's the equivalent of um, of Microsoft Excel. No? It's the Google Workspace for Education tool. Okay? So this is for processing data. Um, and if you look at teachers, no? if you go to um, sheets.google.com, that will basically show you okay, uh, the different, uh, very similar to, to Microsoft Excel teachers. Okay? So you again, no, um, you can always start from blank. Okay, meron ka rin mga templates. Let me just show you a uh, a sample, okay, um, of uh, a spreadsheet. No, what it looks like. Okay, and again, you'll see teachers that there's not much difference. Okay, um, this is for example, if I put my uh, letter, my grades, no, or uh, I created a um, uh, a grade book for my students, I can actually do that here in Google Sheets. Okay, that's basically it. Okay, and okay. It has the same capability as Microsoft Excel. The different functions, okay, like sum, average, okay, computations, okay, um, count if, for example, look up, etc. All of those functions are available in your Google Sheets. Okay, that's that's again um, a very important uh, thing uh, when we're talking about Google Workspace for Education. Okay. Okay, next features is that um, so that's for Google Sheets, no? Okay. Uh, again, tomorrow will I'll be showing you some examples on how we can fully maximize and how we can use Google Sheets as well. As not tomorrow, pala, no? On August five, okay, on our next session, okay. So do not miss that, okay, because that will be the practical application of all of these things that we're talking about, okay. Next features Google Forms. Who can forget Google Forms? Okay, Google Forms is perhaps no one of the most use, okay, widely used, okay, 
uh, Google Workspace for Education tool because it actually can be used in so many ways, okay? uh, especially surveys. Okay? I can see a lot of um, people using it, for example, uh, government offices using it for um, for contact tracing. Okay? And it's very, very useful. But of course, for us as educators, it's being used for assessments like quizzes, etc., for collecting data for research. Google Form is one, perhaps one of your go-to tools from the Google Workspace for Education. So yes, teachers, Google Forms is part of your Google Workspace for Education. So just um, if we go quickly uh, to Google Forms teachers, um, you can see here, uh, and I'd like to very, very also quickly, you know, um, demonstrate what, perhaps you know, one of the coolest things okay, about Google Workspace for uh, Google Form, okay? Uh, in the Google Workspace for Education, it's its ability uh, to auto-grade. Okay, di ba napakahirap po minsan na, na uh, pag nag-a-assign uh, tayo ng mga quizzes, marami pa tayong mga iti-check, okay? uh, at uh, etc. No? In your Google Works, in your Google Form features, no, you can actually set okay, your form to auto-grade your quizzes. Yes, teachers. Pag nag-test si student, pag tinake niya yung quiz niya sa Google Form niyo, he will immediately get the correct answer the score and feedback from you that's uh, ano, ano, one of the pa uh, ano, ano, uh, very good features of google forms okay let me just um, open my uh, sample form right here okay uh, to be able to show you okay okay Just waiting uh, ito. okay sorry so naan pala siya so for example teachers this is an, an auto graded quiz okay so look at that okay um, whenever you create a, a form, for example, no, uh, or a Google form, okay, you can actually set okay, a um, uh, an answer key. Okay, so look at that. For example, I have, uh, I have a question here. What is the capital of the Philippines? And I want, for example, ano, as a teacher, I would like to set uh, the correct answer for this. Okay, and it would be definitely uh, Manila. Okay, so here, teachers, when I open my question for a while. If I open my question, teachers, look at here, I have an answer key. If I click that, okay, I can now determine, I can set now here that the answer is Manila City. Okay. If, for example, the answer is uh, Quezon City, I can easily transfer that here. Okay. okay. And remove the correct answer from there. Okay. But of course, that's not the correct answer. The correct answer is Manila. So I'll just tick that off. And of course, I can also give feedback. Okay. Again. Uh, if we're talking about qualitative um, uh, feedbacking, supporting student learning, this is student learning, uh, supporting student learning, giving qualitative feedback to them. Okay, and of course, teachers know what else is good here. Okay, when you do um, 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 auto graded quiz via Google Form, it gives you item analysis. Okay, and I know this is the one of the hardest things that we have to do, no? And whenever we uh, conduct tests and the, to do manual item analysis, no, counting the the errors, okay, which items has the more most correct uh, um, or um, uh, incorrect answers, okay. But look at here, teachers, in your Google form, uh, you go to responses right here, you will see um, the number that the scores of your students, okay, and here the distribution of scores, okay, as well as, okay the different distribution in your um, test, in your um, questions. How many got the first correct, the first answer, the first uh, question? Um, how many did not get it correct? What answers did they give, okay? So that you can easily spot teachers know which one, okay? Uh, which items, okay? Uh, needs to be reteached to your students. For example, here, um, et cetera, no yan, okay? So, all of those analytics okay, will be available for you uh, immediately right after submission or after the test. Okay, that's Google Forms teachers. Okay, okay so here so far, no, um, uh, we've, we've covered Google um, Drive, Google Classroom, Google Sites, Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Sheets, and Google Forms. Okay, okay so those are some of the tools. Let's now move further. Okay, of course, you have your email servicing. So teachers, baka po may mga nalilito sa atin, ano? Okay? Gmail is not your Google account, okay? Gmail is our email servicing application. It means, okay, Gmail is the one that receives and sends emails, okay? And of course, okay, you'll have to use your Google account to sign in into your email. I will also go through that later on, teachers, okay? Okay? 
So teachers, that's uh, for I, we won't go to that anymore, no, uh, because uh, I, I know for a matter of fact that we have been uh, using email, uh, Gmail, no, for quite some time. Okay, we are very familiar with Gmail. Okay, uh, let us quickly just go to it, no, para makita ng teachers. So for example, this is my email. Okay, I'd like to show it there, uh, teachers, no, because um, um, just to, just to show, no, uh, what what Gmail look like for those. Or not yet as familiar, okay? But uh, basically, it's your um, um, email servicing in um, Google Form, uh, in Google Workspace for Education, okay? So, for example, that's my uh, email, okay? Okay, so uh, teachers, um, next thing teachers would be Google Meet, of course, okay? Um, if we're using Google Workspace for Education, lalo na ngayon sa distance learning modality natin, Google Meet is one of our, ano, our options for video conferencing. Okay, it has been the common option. At marami nagtatanong sa ating mga teachers, no? Um, is that, ang lagi nilang tanong sa akin is that, what is the limit for Google uh, for Google Meet um, video conferencing? Teachers, may limit po kayong 60 minutes, okay? Um, and 100 participants per call. Okay, yan po ang ating limit. Okay, unless mag-upgrade po tayo kay Education Plus, which has um, a longer time limit, plus, okay? Uh, a 250 participant limit. Okay? So, yan po ang ating um, uh, Google Meet. No? Um, and again, that's something we don't need to explore anymore because most probably we have used that already. Okay? Uh, tomorrow, mga ibang tools yung pag-uusapan natin. Okay? Ito, teachers, no? baka lang hindi nyo pa na-explore at baka lang hindi nyo pa nakikita Google Chat, your best option, okay? your best alternative to Facebook Messenger. Okay, teachers, um, can anyone tell in the chat what's the biggest problem in your uh, in Facebook Messenger when we are communicating information? Meron po ba tayong responses sa ating chat, teachers? Okay. Ano yung pinakamalaking problem natin kay Facebook Messenger? And I know for a fact, teachers, that um, uh, Google Chat will be able to solve that. And I'll show you quickly, no? Um, um, the features of Google Chat so that you might be able to explore this. Okay? Because this is part of your uh, tools, teachers, no? Um, as, as user of uh, DepEd uh, accounts, okay? And as user of Google Workspace for Education Fundamentals account, can't send big files. Big, big problem, okay? Isa pa, teachers, isa pang problem natin kay, um, um, uh, teacher control room, can we highlight that, ano, uh, that uh, comment from teacher, uh, um, uh, Gracia May Espias, yan. Yan, hindi nakakapag-send ng documents. Uh, privacy, yan, okay? Uh, hindi nakapag, ayun, sending files through messenger, napakahirap. So, pa, how do we, how do we, ano, how do we do that, no? Especially, um, um, we're communicating information to our students, okay? Now, teachers, here's your biggest uh, answer to those problems. Pero teachers, meron pa kayo isang hindi na-mention. Na, na Yung back, ano, no? Um, back uh, 101, okay? Asking your students to always back read, back read because the message go got, got ano, no, uh, gone up or um, or nawala na, okay? lost because uh, the students replied to your message and your message, your original message got lost along the way. Tapo ba ako teachers? Problema rin natin sa Facebook Messenger yon, yung uh, back reading 101. Okay? Unless you you reply to that no para ibaba yung message ni. Yan, teachers, ang mga problema ang hindi natin may encounter kay Google Chat. Let me just now, okay, quickly go to Google Chat and show you, okay, why this is, this should be your next option for your uh, personal messaging um, for your students, for education at least, uh, okay? Unang-una, teachers, na pinaka-importante part natin kay Google, uh, kay Google Chat, secured siya. Bakit siya secured? Kasi gumagamit po tayo ng Google Workspace for Education accounts para dito. Okay? Naka-Google accounts din po yung mga estudyante natin. So, every time they sign in, every time they join your private, your Google, uh, your group chats in Google Chat, you will always have an access to their accounts. Yes, bigla po may pumapasok na ad sa Messenger. Dito po wala yan, teachers. Okay? So, let me show you quickly, teachers, no? what Google Chat is. So, this is Google Chat, no? If you go to chat.google.com, okay? That's your access to Google Chat teachers now. Um, uh, control, if we can simply uh, put that in the chat right now, chat.google.com, okay, so that our teachers can access that um, our um, application. Okay? 
thank you. Um, uh, Dep and SDO uh, Masbate. <laughs> okay, so teachers, abangan natin. No? So uh, we'll, we'll post the link uh, in our chat later. Okay? But look at this, teachers. This is what Google Chat looks like. Okay? I have here okay, um, rooms. Okay? So rooms, basically, teachers, is your group chat. So if you want, for example, to create a group chat for your students, for your class, you create a room. So for example, if I want to create a room, I simply click that uh, plus sign right here. I will now be able to create a room here. And I can now name the room. For example, this is grade 7, section uh, 1. Okay, that's it. Okay. Now, okay. Since we are using Google Workspace for Education Fundamentals account, you have this option right here called threaded replies. This is what you want, teachers. Okay. So when you create your group, make sure to tick that, teachers, that you can use threaded replies. I'm going to show you later what uh, threaded replies is. If meron kayo mga students that does not use um, email or Google account, sorry, Google account, the same as yours. Make sure to also allow uh, people outside your organization. Okay, so you can also invite people from other domains or personal accounts. Okay, okay. Now, teachers, I will not create that now. Okay, because I already have some groups here to show you. So, if you want to create, just uh, click uh, uh, create right there, and it should pop right into your rooms. Okay. So once I have done creating my Google Chat, my rooms, teachers, it will appear here. Okay. So, for example, I have four groups now. BIA20 Innovators, uh, Team ANZPH, etc. Okay? Uh, BF Moms and uh, Supported Dads. Okay? So, teachers, let me show you an example of a chat room right here. Look at how organized a chat room is in Google Chat. And ngayon palang teachers, yung sabi ko na, baka may mapalipat na sa inyo, teachers. Okay? Look at that. Okay? When you go to your Google Chat, teachers, okay, your, um, your conversations, okay? Your posts okay, or discussions are threaded or group and organized. Look at how organized those are. Okay. So, for example, this one that I this post, no, um, where I posted initial launch okay, of my project right here, actually belongs to uh, one discussion. And look at other discussions. Okay. They're also boxed okay, accordingly. They are not mixed in a one continuous con conversation. So this one is another conversation right here, uh, created by uh, by Chris Hart right here. So it's one conversation, okay? So imagine how good and how well you can easily go back and forth, okay? And back read from your conversation. Look at that, okay? And here's the beauty of Google Chat features, no? Let me just uh, emphasize, uh, emphasize this one. Look at this. Whenever a conversation, okay, gets many reply already, or replies already, it can be collapsed right there so that your the replies no does not occupy so much space in your um, chat room or in your google uh, in your chat uh, group chat no so look at that that's there are 23 replies here i can easily expand that okay if i click on that that number it actually expands and show me all the replies in this conversation okay and also notice teachers that each conversation has their own reply button. So, hindi mo na kailangan tanungin, ano na nga ba yung pinag-uusapan natin dito? Okay. You will always know exactly what the conversation is all about. Kasi hindi ka nalilito. Okay? Again, threaded replies. Okay? Sagot sa back reading 101 na problema natin kay uh, Facebook Messenger. Okay? Now, another thing. So, may mga problems po sa atin sa files, etc. Look at this one. Whenever you want to create a new discussion, okay? You only need to create um, a uh, a new thread, okay? And look at when I create a new thread right here, okay? Look what can I do? Look at their teachers. Now, can you see it? In my message, okay, I can um, upload the file from my computer, no matter what the size is. Um, I can upload file from my Google Drive. I can create a document, okay? right from this call teachers right here okay i can start a google meet right in this uh, group chat as well okay so for example if you have a class okay you can easily and instantly have them in a call like right there okay uh without even like um scheduling anything you can also communicate events right here because your calendar is also 
integrated into your Google Chat. Okay? All of those things can be done as a new thread or if you reply, for example, if I'm replying, look at that. If I'm replying to a conversation, those options will also uh, appear here. Talking about power of communication teachers, no? Okay? So let me know, teachers, no? Yung mga namapaisip na lumipat. So sana meron ng mga namapaisip na lumipat, no? To Google Chat, okay? Because this will really change how you communicate things in uh, to, uh, with your students, okay? Let me further um, show you the power of Google Chat teachers. If you look at on top teachers, no? Right here. Right here, teachers, okay? You will see here some tabs in your conversation, okay? If I click that, it actually shows you all your files that was shared. Hindi nawawala. Hindi mo kailangang balikan sa conversation teachers lahat ng files na na-share sa conversation na to. Because Google Chat curates all the files that, that has been shared in this conversation. So lahat ng mga shinare na files dito sa Google Chat, nandiyan lahat siya teachers sa inyong files tab right there. Okay? So, madaling balikan ng mga students. Madali nyo rin mababalikan. Uh, madali nyo matichek. Uh, Na-share ko na nga ba itong file na to, etc. Lahat yung teachers, kaya natin gawin kay Google Chat. Plus, even more. Look at that. You can actually assign tasks. Okay? You can actually do and facilitate learning in Google Chat no, by assigning tasks to your students. Okay? Imagine that. Okay? So, for example, yeah, you can easily add a room task. Okay? which your students can do. For example, you can ask them, for example, to watch this video. Okay? So without even, for example, going to your um, to your Google Classroom or um, sending them an email, you can actually do them, ask them to do something. Okay? You can actually schedule. Okay? You can also um, like design uh, several mini tasks okay, for them to do. Okay? Again, power of Google Chat. Okay? So again, teachers, lahat ng mga problem na na-mention nyo kanina, solved kay Google Chat. Okay? Wala ka nang hahanapin pang iba, okay? Dito ka na kay Google Chat Teachers, okay? Teachers, some pa lang yan, no? hindi ko pa ma-explore lahat ng mga features si Google Chat, pero madami pa yan, okay? Okay, next time, teachers, uh, let's uh, proceed. Uh, this one, very quick lang, no? I'd just like to mention that we have a tool called um, uh, Google Groups, okay? Si Google Groups Teachers ay isang tool that allows you to create um, user groups Sino po ang napapagod na nito minsan na pag nag email sila, they will have to type the email of their 40, 50 students. Minsan ang, ang hirap, no? Teachers, though, via Google Groups, when you set up a group via Google Groups, just go to groups.google.com, okay? That will actually allow you to set up a group for your class and your class will be given one dedicated email. So that next time you want to email those people in your class, you only need to um uh ano no um you only need to have a ano um that user email or that group email. Yes no, totoo lang. Um um teacher Joan no, uh, talagang kalaban pa natin ng internet. Pero at actually teacher Joan, okay, the Google Chat should also not be as um uh, should not consume as much bandwidth because it could, I don't know, it's basically the same way as Facebook Messenger. If you can access Facebook Messenger, you should be able to access Google Chat. Okay? And maganda kay Google Chat, Teacher Joan, meron po siyang mobile application. Yan. Okay? Kung gagamit po ng Google Chat, kailangan po bang kasali sa chat room? May Google Chat app? Yes po, Teacher Gail. Okay? Or, Teacher Gail, kung gusto nila makasali sa Google Chat without an app, they will have to open it in a browser. Okay? Pwede rin po yun. Okay? So, punta lang po sila kay chat.google.com. They will be open their Google Chat as well. Okay? Or, um, si Google Chat teachers ay naka-integrate din sa ating mga emails. Baka hindi po natin siya napapansin. Nandun po siya sa loob ng emails natin. Uh, for those who have not yet been up, uh, updated, malamang nakikita nyo po doon yung tinatawag ating Hangouts. But soon, that will be upgraded to or updated to Google Chat. Yan. Okay. So I hope Teacher Gail and Teacher Joan, I was uh, able to address those concerns. And of course, sa mga naghahanap ng whiteboarding uh, application, okay, sa mga math teachers po natin dyan na gustong magpakita ng process like solving, um, used for brainstorming teachers, Google Jamboard is definitely a tool you'll have to explore. Okay? Um, teachers, no, I won't be able to go to that anymore, pero check natin very quickly um, anong itsura ni Google Jamboard. So this is what Google Jamboard looks like. Okay. 
uh, this will show you teachers no um different apps okay um sorry <laughs> different uh, um ability to set up what they call jumps okay let me just uh, show you this one okay let me set up one okay uh so when you set up a jam teachers now this they call it jam in jamboard okay uh, you can actually use yung tetawag nila mga post its for brainstorming uh meron ka pen if you want to draw okay or to write something although um admittedly teachers no hindi pa siya ganun kaganda in, hindi pa ganun ka accurate yung pen niya so if you're using for example your hand okay or other tools it's not as accurate as others okay so for example i can draw here right there okay okay so that's uh what you can do in jamboard you can also create uh posits okay right there um hello yeah okay so for example if you are uh, brainstorming or gathering ideas this is actually a very good one okay uh, activists we actually have a, a comprehensive walkthrough of jamboard tomorrow if you're interested please do check out our uh, our tool okay our um facebook page no for uh, for the details okay that's for google jamboard teachers okay and of course okay youtube okay we're getting kakalimutan ng teachers all the teachers na ito lang yung ano ko uh disclaimer ko okay baka lang malito tayo no sabi ko kasi kanina uh, ang Google Workspace for Education ay protected uh, from ads, okay, from privacy. Eh, bakit meron dito nga uh, uh, YouTube? Um, eh, meron mga ads ang YouTube. Teachers, hindi talaga siya part ng Google Workspace for Education. Pero uh, Google has been always promoting uh, YouTube as an educational tool. So, always din po, no, explore natin on how we can further use YouTube. At ang maganda yung teachers, si YouTube po ay integrated sa inyong mga Google Workspace for Education tool. How so? For example, you want um, a YouTube video for your Google Slides, you can actually directly insert a YouTube video in your Google Slides. You want to put it in your Google Sites, in your website, you can actually also do that. Uh, you want to um, uh, to put your uh, um, a, um, a YouTube video in your Google Classroom, you can also do that very much well, okay? That's for Google uh, YouTube teachers. Now. Okay, now teachers, those are some of the tools now under the Google Workspace for Education uh, system. Okay. Questions? Okay. Wala, teachers, now. Ito na lang, teachers. Reminder ko. Okay, bago tayo magpatuloy. Okay. These tools are all available. Okay. Via, okay, most of your tools, teachers, now, can, um, um, is accessible via your uh, Google Chrome, okay? Web browser, okay? So browser type po talaga yung madami sa mga tools natin. So your Google Drive, your Google Docs, Google Slides are all browser type. Although teachers, uh, many of the tools by Google Workspace for Education also have um, mobile applications. Like Google Drive, may mobile app po yan. Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Sheets. Um, meron din po mga apps yan, okay? Um, Google Calendar, Google Meet, okay? Uh, of course, Gmail also have a, um, uh, a mobile app. Pero hindi lang po lahat. Okay? Ngayon, teachers, saan nakikita tong Google Apps Launcher? Okay? Let me just uh, quickly go to that. Okay? Uh -huh. Okay, teachers. Okay? When you open your Google Chrome, and I say Google Chrome, teachers, now, don't open any other. Okay? <laughs> Kapag po nag access tayo ng ating um, uh, Google Workspace for Education Tools, make sure that you have Google Chrome. Teachers, okay? Um, pakilagay naman po sa chat, no? Kung meron na kayo na ano. Lagay nyo lang, I have Google Chrome, okay? So that we know, uh, because if you have, if you don't have that yet, make sure you download Google Chrome because that's the best way to access. If you're using a laptop or a desktop, teachers, no? Uh, that's the best way to access your tools, okay? So for example, right here, teachers, um, I'm in my Google Chrome right now, okay? Um, and I open my browser. If I open my browser, okay? Look at that upper right corner um, of your um, browser right there. That's where you will find, okay? Yan. Very good po sa lahat ng may mga Google Chrome na teachers, okay? Pagpalaan po kayo. Teachers, yan ang susi sa ating Google Workspace for Education. So, wag na wag po tayong mawawalan ng Google Chrome because that will allow you to access all our tools, okay? So, teachers, dito, may makita po tayo sa upper right corner na uh, nine dots, okay? Ang tawag pala namin sa community dyan, teachers, ay waffle icon. Yes, okay. So, sa community lang, teachers, no? Pero officially, ang tawag ni Google dyan ay Google Apps Launcher. When you click that, teachers, that will show you 
this many amazing tools. No? So lahat ng mga tools na that I talk about earlier, okay, can actually be accessed here. Yan, okay? Can be accessed here in your Google Apps Launcher. Okay? So teachers, dyan lang po tayo nag access Okay? So lahat ng mga tools natin, teachers, Drive, Classroom, Calendar, Sheets, Docs, okay? uh, Slides, Gmail, Chat, okay? and all other tools uh, from the Google Workspace for Education okay? are accessible via your waffle icon. Yes, waffle icon. Okay? Alam po ni Teacher Christine yan na waffle icon ang tawag namin dyan. Or the Google Apps Launcher um, via your Chrome. Okay? So that's where, that's our primary access point to our um, tools, no? Okay? Okay. Now, um, aside from the teachers, no, this is also our shortcut, okay? Try nyo to teachers, no? At papapadili ang buhay nyo, okay? Whenever you want to access a um, uh, a tool, okay? Um, uh, you want to access a tool, okay, uh, for Google Workspace for Education, okay? Uh, type lang natin teachers dito. Type nyo lang sa browser nyo. The product's name, uh, .google.com, that will bring you to that product. For example, open ako ng browser ko. I just simply type, for example, sites. I type sites, S-I-T-E-S, -E uh, sorry, .google.com, that brings me to site, Google Sites already. Okay? Shortcut po yan lahat, teachers, no? It works across your tools. Your docs will always be accessible via docs at google.com, your Google Slides at slides at google.com, your, uh, your Gmail at mail.google.com, your classroom at classroom.google.com. Lahat yan, teachers, no? can be accessible okay, via that uh, formula. Okay? Plus, okay, meron pa isa dyan, teachers, na formula na pwede tandaan. Kapag nagmamadali tayo okay, at gusto na nating uh, <laughs> makapag-start ng file, no? like, for example, a blank Google, Doc, uh, Google Docs, a blank Google Slides or a blank um, Sheets or even a blank site, teachers, i-type nyo lang products name, that new, that will open up. For example, if I open right now, if I click, uh, I type here Sheets, um, that's new, that will open up to a new sheet or a new spreadsheet. Easy. Okay? That's, that should make our lives a lot easier no? when accessing um, the Google Workspace for Education Tools, okay? So, talking about accessibility, okay? So, teachers, yan ang ating um, uh, ano, ano, um, formula for access to tools, okay? Are we clear, teachers? Okay. But of course, teachers, if you're using mobile phone, um, many of the tools, no, hindi naman kailangan lagi kay Chrome. If you're using mobile or tablet, pwede nyo na pong i-download yung mga mobile apps natin, okay? So, search nyo lang, teachers, no? Some of them are available, some of them are not okay, for now. Okay, teachers, skip that into. We'll just um, um, send this tomorrow to tomorrow. Okay? I don't think we have time. Let me just um, clarify. Okay, okay uh, teacher Christine, can you let me know in the chat right now, um, in our private chat, no, how much time do you still have? Okay? So that um, I can we can budget our time. You just open question. Okay, while I'm um, asking um, how much time we, do we still have? Okay? Are we still okay? Okay. Or may mga inantok na, may mga nakatulog na. <laughs> okay, teachers. Yan. Okay. Teachers, questions? Uh, concerns so far? Wala ba tayong questions dyan? Okay. Wow, puro thumbs up. Okay. Maraming maraming salamat, teachers. No? Um, okay. Okay. So if there are no questions, okay, uh, yan, I, I got now a message from Teacher Christine. Okay, after 4 p.m. Okay. Okay, so um, we're almost done. So um, teachers, okay, um, we're supposed to end actually by 4, no? It's already 4.20 since we started late, okay, anyway, okay? So let me just now uh, highlight, no, a couple of more things, okay? Uh, before we um, we end our session, okay, uh, for today, as we in again, no, I hope that I was able to introduce to you already um, Google Workspace for Education. But now let me just okay, um, go over okay, the different key features. No, this will not take as long, teachers. No, okay, um, but I hope and I hope you don't mind, Bob. Okay, 
So teachers, these are the key features of the Google Workspace for Education. Okay, let me just uh, wait for my presentation to load, teachers. Okay. okay, my connection is really bad right uh, today, teachers. I hope that I'm not lagging or anything on your end. Okay, or uh, I'm not like uh, robotic. My my sound is not robotic. Okay, <laughs> so teachers. Let's now look at some key features of the Google Workspace for Education. Why use Google Workspace for Education? Okay. So, una una, of course, okay, that uh, we have to mention is that um, the Google Workspace for Education was designed okay, to address the different 21st century um, learning skills. Okay. And when when we say about 21st century learning skills, we're talking about the four C's of 21st century learning: okay? uh, collaboration, critical thinking, communication, and creativity. And all of these uh, teachers now are all, um, I don't know, being targeted, okay? uh, focused on, okay? emphasized, highlighted by Google Workspace for Education. Okay? <laughs> and I can't emphasize enough teachers now. I can always talk about uh, how Google Workspace for Education targets uh, all of these tools. Okay? But let me just go over uh, on some of these ways now on how okay? Google Workspace for Education targets these uh, skills now. So una -una, teachers, when we talk about collaboration, the fact that all your files are shareable okay, makes it collaborative teachers. Okay? No file in Google Drive, in um, Google Workspace for Education is not shareable unless it's corrupted. Okay? But as long as it's, you put it in your Google Drive teachers, that is shareable. Okay? I'm going to bet my life on that teachers. Okay? I'm going to bet my life on that idea. Okay? I am very, very sure of that. Okay? Second, okay, don't. Documents can easily be edited simultaneously. Imagine, for example, teachers, a document that's being worked on by five people, ten people simultaneously. You can even think of that before. Pero ngayon, pwedeng pwede na. Pusible na. Okay? Via the Google Workspace for Education, it enhances our ability to work with others. Okay? And simultaneously in real time. This is collaborative or collaboration at its finest, teachers. And of course, teachers, progress and changes can be monitored. Yes, teachers, okay? Kapag nag-assign po kayo ng mga project kay Google Workspace for Education, meron na po tayong mga ways to monitor um, ang ating mga estudyante no, kung anong ginagawa nila at hindi nila ginagawa sa loob ng ating mga worksheets, documents, etc. Okay? So meron na po tayong tinatawag ngayon. Of course, no, we have the version history and of course, we also have the, the view history in um in a different Google Workspace for Education tools. Okay. Let me just quickly go over that teachers na para mapakita ko lang. Okay. Um when we go, for example, to docs, okay. Let me just uh, open a document here. Ah, okay. Bakit pa ako lumayo, teachers? Okay. okay. So for example, teachers, now in this presentation, okay. Let me just uh, exit this presentation. Okay. Uh, teachers now. Presentation, documents, sheets, okay? Lahat yan teachers now have what we call version history and view history. Look at these teachers. If we go to my presentation right here, you will see their last edit was four hours ago. That's actually a version history. Okay? So for example, if I click on that, teachers, it will show you different versions of this document, okay? Which you can always go back to. And that's the beauty of it. Right there. Okay. So, for example, I have a version okay, from uh, July 20 and also July 2021. Okay. So that's that's uh, teachers now. And uh, again, uh, this versions teachers could easily be um, could easily be um, restored. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Nagalalag lang computer teachers. Look at the teachers now. Uh, when you go to a particular version, okay, you have here an option to restore that version right there. So you can always go back and forth in your document, okay? And that's not what I want to show it to you. I want to show it. I want to show here, teachers. You can monitor here some version history more. Who's typing and who's editing what, okay? So for example, if this is a document or a presentation you assign to your students, you can easily see who's contributing to the group work or not contributing, okay? Very best way no, to monitor progress and also to avoid yung freeloading or yung mga hindi gumagawa ng kanilang assignments. Okay? And of course, teachers, yung tiyatawag nating, um, uh, tiyatawag nating um, view history. If you see here, teachers, sa ating, sorry. 
para mga teachers na. <clears throat> Medyo nag-aano teachers na, naglalag yung aking computer. Okay. Okay, let me just go back to that, okay? Um, you can also monitor the view history, who's viewing your document and what they're doing. Okay, so lahat teachers are now possible via the Google Workspace for Education Tools, okay? Uh, and again, you can explore that further. That's basically that uh, icon on the upper uh, sa taas, okay? That uh, arrow going up is actually the that um, view history uh, icon right there, teachers, okay? I won't be able to click it anymore kasi naglalag yung computer ko or um, yung aking uh, connection, okay? Anyway, okay, so moving forward, okay? Aside from that, teachers, okay? Let me just um, continue with that, okay? So teachers, no, uh, collaboration is perhaps the best, uh, ano, no, uh, one of the most important aspect or theme that Google Workspace for Education has been focusing on for the recent years. Okay? So katalagang lahat ng mga tools ni Google uh, Workspace for Education are very collaborative, okay? um, uh, enhances uh, working with others, okay? um, especially in our setup right now. Okay? So these are things that's possible because of the Google Workspace for Education. Okay? Let me just uh, go um, back to my presentation, teachers. Okay. Okay. So aside from that, teachers, now aside from um, uh, those things, okay, um, is that um, it also promotes no um, different ways to collaborate. Okay. So madami multimodal collaboration teachers no. So it's not just about like um like uh, in a video conference it's not just about like in a document okay you can collaborate in chat you can collaborate in Google groups you can collaborate in email in all other spaces. So in almost diff so many pati calendar teachers you can actually also collaborate in setting up events in your calendar. Okay so lahat ng mga tools natin for Google Workspace for Education are enhanced for collaboration. Okay? Okay, uh, critical thinking. So think about, for example, you can uh, facilitate conversation, sharing of ideas, and interdisciplinary collaborations via Google Meet. Of course, no, wala tayong kakalimutan din. For our students to develop that critical thinking, processing information, they'll have to always have access to good sources. You can always have or um, check uh, Google Scholar. Okay, we're going to talk about that tomorrow. Okay, uh, and of course, okay. Uh, you can always set up collaborative spaces for people to engage in uh, different ideas para they can get the perspective of other people. That's what critical thinking is all about, okay? Knowing, um, knowing people, from, knowing the perspectives of other people, okay? And therefore, assessing your own ideas, okay? And of course, communication. So you have like Google uh, uh, email for, um, for uh, emails, okay? You have uh, for video conferencing, you have um, personal messaging, different ways to communicate, okay? And of course, even uh, information can be communicated in different ways. You can deliver that via Google Classroom. You can share Google Drive folders. You can also set up a website for them. All of those things are possible and available for all of you. Creativity teachers, you might want to check out teachers. No, uh, your um, Google Earth is uh, one of the best ways to uh, tickle that creativity, as well as okay for those who have not yet um, explored yet. Uh, para sa ating mga art teachers at ating mga ano no uh, artist uh, teachers, okay? Uh, there's actually what we call the arts and culture um, uh, tool, okay, for um, from the Google Workspace for Education. This can actually show you like paintings, okay, uh, museums, okay. Uh, it can actually also give you like a virtual tour, etc., and some other activities. So, lahat yan teachers, no, in arts and culture that google.com, okay. So, um, you can also there's also an app for that if you want to explore their AR or uh, augmented reality. Okay? Although again, medyo matas na signal yan, no? okay, uh, or connectivity. Okay, teachers. Um, you can also allow them to present their learnings in different ways, okay? Uh, hindi lang in a paper pencil test, okay? There are many ways to ask them to do that, okay? So teachers, all in all, okay? Just to summarize, no, what we what I've been talking about for the for the last couple of hours, okay? Uh, so these are some of the key features of Google, uh, uh, ano, um, uh, Google Workspace for Education. Number one is that you have an integrated login. Okay, kaya dapat sa teachers, sabi ko kanina, napaka-importante ni Google Chrome. Kasi once you have a Google Chrome, you sign in your account in Google Chrome, all the tools now 
will be available for access now for you in the Google Workspace for Education. So important thing, Google Chrome, sign in, and you'll have access to all your tools. That's what we call the integrated login. Para hindi mo kailangan log in and log out to each tools. Okay. Second, offline mode. Yes, teachers, may offline mode po tayo. Especially kanina may reklamo yung mga teachers natin on uh, connectivity or hard of uh, connection. You can actually set up the offline mode ng mga documents nyo kay Google Drive. So you can always access these files okay, um, in an offline modality. Okay? Kahit walang connection po, teachers. Okay? Ease of use, napakadaling gamitin, teachers. I'm telling you, you will not have a hard time, okay? Um, using the Google Workspace for Education tools. And siguro yung pinakalas na gusto ko uh, about Google Workspace is the integration between tools. Notice that your tools are, does not exist in isolation. All of the tools of Google Workspace for Education, in one way or another, are integrated to each other. Okay? At uh, those are the things you can discover no, further the moment you start using more the Google Workspace for Education. Okay? Yan, teachers, no, ang ating Google Workspace for Education. I will skip this one, okay? Um, um, and we'll just end with this um, quotation, which was mentioned by teacher Christine kanina, no, at the start of our session, okay? That technology alone, teachers, will not improve education. You are here, teachers, no, no trying to know about technology, but at the end of the day, okay, um, your knowledge, uh, this technology, no, these tools, okay, can only go so far as you meant them to be. Right? To the extent that you want to use them, okay. So even if you have so many tools uh, um, at your fingertips, no, um, it will not be as useful unless you fully optimize them and use them in your classes, okay. And uh, take notice as well that you take note as well that this technology, these tools, will never replace a teacher. I don't think, no. I I believe, I sincerely believe there will not be a point, okay when these tools will be replacing teachers because education remains to be a human endeavor, okay? So you will still be at the heart of education, but teachers, no, let us also not turn our back because, okay, even if these tools cannot replace us as teachers, these are this can be powerful part of our solution to education. This can enhance the teaching, learning, and process in ways we can never imagine in a normal setup or traditional setup. Okay, so as they say, as they say, teachers, um, we will never be replaced by technology, but we can be replaced by teachers no, uh, who have embraced and used technology uh, for education. Okay, so please, teachers, okay, allow me to thank you again for having me here um, at um, at um, at uh, SDO Masbate. I hope that I was able to impart with you knowledge and understanding about the Google Workspace for Education. We'll explore more on our second session on August 5 about the practical use and uses of the Google Workspace for Education in action. Ayun na yung teachers yung talagang bakbakan at talaga umatikabong uh, paggamit ng Google Workspace for Education. So maraming maraming salamat teachers. And that concludes my session for today. Uh, for you teachers now, uh, SDO mas batenyo teachers, and also for the teachers who are from other um, divisions. Maraming salamat, and good afternoon teachers. Alright, talaga. <laughs> Lodi, hindi po talaga nata papagod si Sir Franco. Ano po yung punong puyo po niya? Uh, punong puno siya talaga ng schedule, pero binigyan po tayo talaga niya ng oras. Uh, take note ha, free po yan. <laughs> Free po yun si Sir Franco kung mag-ano mag-training po sa atin. So nakikita niyo naman po sa screen, marami po siyang mga uploaded videos po at mga live um, trainings na nasa YouTube channel po niya na nakalagay po sa ating screen na ngayon. So pwede po kayo mag-follow po doon sa YTC niya. At ako din, personally, uh, kapag hindi pa ako nakakaano po lang sa training namin, doon po ako humahabol talaga sa YouTube channel po ni Sir Franco. Kaya nga po, uh, nalagpasan po natin yung level 2 sa Google certification po, ano, for education. So we're working yes, for yes. the Google, ano po, ano, sa trainer. Sana po, ano, ano po tayo. Kaya uh, tayo. Hopefully. <laughs> so, uh, ladies and friends, mga kapwa ko mas batay nyo na mga kaguruan po, ano, sa, um, May, kung may mga katanungan pa kayo um, at may gusto pang matutunan, sa August 5 po, babalik po si Sir Franco. And kasabay na po natin yung mga Google Certified Educators si natin, si Sir Dandy de la Cruz and Sir Benjamin Montes. At sa, sa, ang part po namin sa pag-discuss po ng mga Google um, tools po natin ay yung ano na po natin, output-based po siya. 
So, binigyan na po tayo ng napaka-comprehensibo na discussion po ni Sir Franco about Google Workspace for Education. Ang aming gagawin lang naman po ay sa mga susunod ay i-apply nyo na po. So, i-guide po namin kayo, i-facilitate. Then, um, na pwede po nating magamit na sa ating ano sa ating trabaho na hindi lang po sa ating ano sa ating classroom kasi alam naman po natin na mahina po talaga internet natin at saka not all yeah. the students have this gadgets and the internet connectivity but in our job po talaga ay grabe ayan po meron po tayong message coming from Ma'am A. Cavalier, thank you so much na po for a well-versed instruction. So, hindi po lahat ng ano natin, mga comments. Ayan din po kay Ma'am Shela, Ma'am Almenya. Thank you so much, Sir Franco, for sharing your expertise. So, yun po, ano, kung gusto nyo pong matuto, yun nga po, um, puntahan nyo po yung sa, ano natin, sa Facebook page po niya. Meron po doon sa Kagapay Teacher Support. Pakikita nyo po ang lahat po ng activities na meron po ang Kagapay. Uh, at hindi lang po yun. Ipapromote ko na lang po, Sir Franco, yung sa Edpuzzle. <laughs> Edpuzzle ano, for P Pilipinas. So, later pa, ano, siguro sa mga susunod po na mga buwan, yeah. pwede po nating pag-usapan yan kung gaano din po ano, ka kaganda yung Edpuzzle. Yes. So, right, Sir Franco, um, yung Certificate of Appearance or uh, appearance, yung Recognition or Commendation, i-flash po natin. So, well, hindi po namin maipapadala sa inyo ang certificate agad-agad, but through LBC or what, kung ano pong Deliver Exp Express, ibibigay po namin po yan. So, STO Masbate awards their Certificate of Commendation to Franco Nicolo P. Adon for being the resource speaker during the conduct of Complete Walkthrough of Google Workspace for Education Productivity Tools Series and Online Profession Development for Masbateño Teachers with the topic Introducing Google Workspace for Education to Masbateño Teachers held on July 21, 2021 via DepEd Masbate FB page. Given this 21st day of July 2021 in Masbati City, Philippines. Signed, Nene Armorioles, Sasu 5, Schools Division Superintendent. Sir. Ayan. Isang virtual din po na palakpak para kay Sir Franco. Grabe, amazed na amazed po kami, no? Ilang beses na po ako. Ayan, pumapalakpak yung ITO talaga namin. Ayan, sa likod po, <laughs> si Sir Ruel. Um, si Sir Christine. Po. <laughs> pick, pick up ko na lang sa Masbati soon, yung certificate. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, up, 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 up. Thank you. Thank you po. Sana soon, no? Pag nag-okay na yung panahon. Tara na anyway, Teacher okay. Christine, maraming maraming salamat. And of course, teachers na, Teacher Christine, I'd like to inform our teachers on August 5, our um our session will be properly contextualized na, no? Siyempre, pag, mm. um, we will now be um putting into context yung connectivity issues natin and also our modality, no? We're uh, using learning packets and printed modules, okay? But uh, we'll focus more on siguro using Google Workspace for administrative uh, matters like um, as teachers, like uh, producing your document, etc. As well as how you can still use Google Workspace for education despite the limited connectivity. So yan po yung promise Ay, natin wow. para proper in context po tayo. And our teachers will not feel alienated na uh, baka si maramdaman nila uh, sa uh, next session, Teacher Christina, what for is the... Uh, Google Workspace for Education kung wala naman kami connectivity or uh, ang hina naman ang signal namin. So, sisigal din namin teachers that will be taken into consideration and we will set up our session on August 5 in uh, in the context of low connectivity and low bandwidth access. Okay Ayan, kaya Para po, po yun nga po pinili po namin. Ayan po, kaya nga pinili po natin yung topic na yan kasi yung ano po talaga yung situation namin dito sa Masbate, ganun po. So talagang gapang kami sa internet connectivity at yun nga po ang naging issue kanila. Naalala ko si Ma'am Joanne Mendoza po yun ano, na nagtanong po sa inyo kanina sa comment section po natin. So again, Sir Franco, thank you very much and God bless at Para po sa mga teachers po ng STO Masbate, again, inaanyayahan po namin na bisitahin po ang kanyang FB page. Yan na rin po ang ating tanging maibibigay po na support. At mara Ay, hindi lang po yun kasi tayo din na makikinabang. Ako din nakinabang na din po ako ilang buwan na. Kaya nga naging certified Google teacher din po tayo level 2 because of Sir Franco. Take note with a voucher. <laughs> Ayan. So, teachers, meron pong ano, may ipopost po si Sir Ruel na link po ano. Aside from the YouTube channel, meron din po siyang link na ibibigay para po dun sa mga basic demo, mga demo videos po ano, about po sa paggamit po ng Google Workspace for Education tools natin. And later po, ibibigay po namin yung evaluation link and meron pang ibibigay din si ITO na mga ganap, na mga, syempre, ITO yan eh, ICT, kaya marami po siya.
Right, so last, um, ano po ang ano po, uh, pera po doon sa mga nasabi mo na Sir Franco, ang dami na po nang sabi, mga, ano pa, mga ending, ano pa ba? Basta nasabi nung po lahat po pala kanina. <laughs> Sorry, nagtatanong pa talaga ako, <laughs> nag ano pa, kulang pa. So yan na po, ano, August 5, um, muli po nating matutunghayan po at Magdi-discuss po si Sir Franco na sinabi na po niya kalina tungkol po sa mga extensions and add-ons na meron po tayo at yung yun na contextualization na po yun para po sa ating situation na meron po tayo dito sa Masbate. And August 10, meron din po tayong session, August 17 and 22. So bali po yung August po natin is more on Google Workspace for Education. Right, so sobrang blessed po ang Masbate. Aside from that ha, muli ko pong sinasabi si Sir Franco po ang kanyang kaagapay teacher support ay nagbigay po sa atin ng tulong sa isa sa mga schools na meron po tayo sa 3rd Congressional District. It is an island school, Ginawayan Elementary School po, an amount of 15,000. At take note po, galing po yan sa kanyang professional fee. Palapakan po natin. So yung certificate din po, kasabay din po yan sa papalala namin. Apo po, taka pala dito. Ayan, si Okay. So, alright, ladies and friends, ito po ano, ang, ano po ni Sir Franco, kaagapay, ayan, sa Facebook po natin, tingnan nyo po. At meron pong ano eh, meron po ngayong ganap, uh, Google, para tungkol po sa Jamboard. Tingnan nyo na lang po sa yes. kanyang page, marami po dyan. Tomorrow yan, yes. Google Jamboard ah, po. Ah, okay. Yes. Ah, uh, yung picture, yes. Teacher Christine, no? uh, again, teachers, uh, pag kailangan nyo po talaga ng tulong, uh, alam po ni Teacher Christine yan, you can always okay. message us, okay? Um, you can also look for my Facebook uh, page, uh, Facebook uh, profile, okay? You can contact me anytime, okay? Para po matulungan namin kayo. So in any way, we can uh, we can help, we can assist you, uh, we'll try to be there, no? As uh, we have always been there with uh, ano, for Teacher Christine uh, all throughout her journey as a Google Certified Educator, okay? So again, maraming maraming well, salamat. Alam. Dadami kami at saka, ayan, basta. <laughs> ayan, so Sir Ruel, it yung link na lang po natin. Um, although we have that evaluation link po, um, meron pong ipopost po sa inyo na link, ayan, https colon slash dalawa po, www.menti.com code is 7768523883. Okay, kunti na lang po yan. By the way po, ano, yung nakapag-register po, um, kailangan po nating magano po ng evaluation link po natin yung form kailangan yung sagutan kasi po um, ang pag-release ko po bukas ng electronic certificate po ay certificate ay galing po doon sa evaluation yung sa registration po gagamitin ng po namin basis yon para po malaman natin namin what particular um, tool ang gusto nyong mas matutunan at anong aspeto ang kailangan po namin uh, kailangan improve at ibigay po sa inyo sa online training po na to about Google Workspace for Education at makakasama na po natin ang inyong kasamahan po dito sa mas bati po na mga Google Certified Educators we have Sir Benjamin Montes and Sir Dandy at mayroon pa daw pong iba but for now, yung dalawa lang po ang nag-commit for a topic po na pwede po nating i-share so output based po siya yung mga susunod natin na session. Alright, so ipapakita na po, share na po ni Sir Ruel kung meron na pong naka-access po ng link natin. Smenti.com Mag-aantay lang po kami ng konti. So far, meron na po tayong ilang shares. Nasa 30 plus na yung shares po natin. Ayan, the question is, give one word that describe your feelings or thought after the session. So one, coming from you, said that there is an excitement. And yes, meron po siyang nakalagay po dan. So there is an excitement, sabi po ng the happy. So yun po, ano, mar grabe po yung nararamdaman nila ngayon, happy. Lalo na po kanina, nalaman po natin na, Pwede pala natin gamitin itong Google Workspace for Education, although we have the low net connectivity. Ayan. Tatlo pa lang po yung nakapag-access po ng ating ano, menti.com. So there is... Alright. 
Okay, for the evaluation link, just type bit.ly slash week one Google T evaluation. So, yan po ano, yun po ang basis po natin for the release of the certificate. So, ayan, meron pong sumagot ng amazed po siya. Thank you very much for that answer. Satisfied? Ayan, meron po nag-answer niyang satisfied. Yes, amazed. So, lima pa lang po yan, no? Uh, ilan? Lima, yeah. Another is amazing. All right, very amazing po talaga yung productivity tools natin. Ito lang po, ano, since we're talking about Google, alam naman po natin that we have a counterpart which is Microsoft at magbibigay po dyan ng training din po ang ating IT. Um, wala namang po problema kung Google po yun or Microsoft. Ang importante po ay pwede po nating magamit po yan sa ating trabaho as a teacher. And not only as a teacher, of course, as a school leader, na kailangan po natin yung mga productivity tools for our job, um, for our task to be done efficiently. Yun lang naman po kasi yung rason. As for me po kasi ako, ano, um, kung nandito lang sana si Sir, ano, Sir Benji and saka Sir Dandy, sila mo naman po talaga ay mga IT people. Ako, IT-able lang. Dahil po sa kay Sir Well, ayan po, nakakuha po tayo ng... Um, Google Certification for Level 1, voucher po yun nung December. At tinuloy-tuloy ko yun sa pamagitan ng pag-join po sa Kaagapay Teacher Support na nakita ko rin sa FB page po nila. Hanggang tuloy-tuloy po na yun ang ugnayan at nakuha din po tayong isa sa kanya mga speaker pagdating po nung April series po. At maraming opportunity. And aside from that, alam po natin syempre na walang... <laughs> Pera po talaga, makukuha po dito talaga. Pero yung ano po talaga, ang importante, you have that skill. You have those skills na pwede po nating magamit sa ating trabaho. Ayan, meron pong mga sagot na um, substantial, very good, really great and excited, amused, knowledgeable, um, interested, and overwhelmed. So, thank you very much. And time check, it's already 4.48. It's 12 minutes before 5. And kindly um, uh, access now the link for the evaluation. Hindi lang lamang, hindi ko po yan i-close until tomorrow morning. But pag dumating na po yung lunch, i-close ko na po siya for me to process now the electronic certificate. All right, ladies and friends, thank you very much. Um, in behalf of SDO Masbati Province at sa support po ng ating superintendent and the two ACCs and our chief po, na sila po talaga ay napaka-busy po ngayon dahil po sa aming isa pang activity. And um, ano pa bang sasabihin ko? Yun lang po ano. So let's see each other again in August 5. August 10, August 7, August 22. Tignan nyo lang po ang aming mga post po, ano? Yun po yung ating mga dates. But if ever po there are some uh, modifications of the dates, we will just tell you. But August 5 po, yung kay Sir Franco po, yun na po ang kanyang fix po na schedule because heavy na rin po ang kanyang schedule. So everyone, God bless. Sir Well, yeah! <laughs> Kung nandito na sina Sir Benji and Sir Dandy, ano. Anyway, makikita naman po sila. Actually, wala po kaming snacks dito. <laughs> Free lang po talaga. Ayan. Thank you very much. God bless. Alright. So, be a Google Certified Teacher. Sir